The views and opinions expressed by the No Nonsense Show and its hosts do not necessarily reflect views consistent with political correctness or the Rare Science Podcast Network. So to get the show started right, we want to wish any officers of the Sensitivity Police a heartfelt fuck you. <laughs> Why are you looking at me, Jake? Because what you know? We're waiting. We're waiting. We, we, we talked about this all last week, bro. Come on, man. Hey, uh, even I know what's I'm going st- on. I'm still strong. No masturbating. Still strong, still going strong. That makes you. That means you're strong if you're if you don't masturbate. No, I'm not saying that. But as somebody that used to, oh, he was about to tell the truth. How often, <laughs> no, no, French? No, no, no. no. Oh, it was oh, a word. Oh, it was no, a word no, that no. fucked me up. No, okay, no, what not word? The amount. What word? Uh, partake. You are listening to the No Nonsense Show. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast, guaranteed. That was the way to have That's a hard word. <laughs> no, I just had to think about it. Is that gum on the bottom of your shoe? Speaking of shoes, what is that? What are these? What are, what's going on here? Those are uh, suede, suede vans. Oh, uh, the vans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, With fat lace. Not necessarily suede. That's canvas, right? Is that suede? I feel like that's What is this? Suede? Velvet? Yeah, <laughs> what is this? Velvet? Suede. Suede? Yeah. What made you pick those? I just like them. Are they are they thicker soles? So you tall, you're taller in them, or is that just they do look like the they, special kids? They're shoe little things, but you know, Vans is still skateboard shoes, so it's more made for you when you're doing your ollies and oh, your, where's your, your kick flips? I'm not a skater, so why do you know these <laughs> words? Ollies. He threw he threw those words out like this is what he does. In seventh grade, I had a skate face, but that was seventh grade. A skate face. Yeah. What, what was your phase. what board did you have? You didn't have a face. They, he didn't. You had a Kmart board. He, he, had, a, he had a he had a Walmart board. He was borrowing. No, that was my first board, and I realized how cheap they were, and I went and got the big. Board he liked the, the smoker that don't smoke, and but bums it from everybody else. He like, <laughs> can I can I use your skateboard? So look, he said he went through all that. And I'm asking again, what kind of board did you have? I just forgot the name of the brand. Uh, but I know it was like over a hundred dollars. Over a hundred dollars. You think yeah. that's that was good because it's over a hundred? No, nah, because my mom was so mad that she had to spend that. That I mean that's not even expensive <laughs> for a board though, right? Uh, but I mean I'm not like Tony Hawk. I don't I'm have to not, go the five hundred dollar route. I mean, but if you want like what a kind, quality board, it's, there's pieces to its components. What, what yeah, kind of trucks did you have? Right. I don't remember what it was. Look, what, look, it was, look. It, it was it's what, called it's called being a poser. That's what it's called, <laughs> and, and, and I know because I'm a poser too. I got skate shoes on too. Se- like, but I, in I seventh get grade, it. I had a little face. <laughs> yeah, know? but yours are Nike. It took one hard fall to make me say this night for me. A one hard fall? Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you What'd you hit? Same, same. Um, one hard fall on my back and lose my. I was at the skate park. I was trying to do like. <laughs> no, no. I, what'd you hit? I said. I just fell. I what fell did you hit when you fell? On my elbow. Elbow. You had no pads on. You not, better not, not, not have no pads. pads. <laughs> I had a helmet on, but no pads. Okay, you didn't wear no. pads either. Holy shit! Is that, you, you, no, no. You, yeah, had you had a helmet, a helmet on. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That, no, I good. had no helmet, no hat, no like hel- like no regular pads. niggas, do. like like a, like a skater supposed to like do. Like I was tripping. I was I was trolling when I said your helmet, pad, your and, pads. And, and, and for the record, I was doing an ollie off of a manual into another ollie, or into a into another Fritch manual. Has no idea what the fuck and, you're and I slipped about. out of it, mm-hmm. and I landed flat on my back and couldn't breathe for like five minutes. I was trying to do the slide through the to the ramps. I no, couldn't you were. He thought ollie was uh, he short said, for Oliver. <laughs> a, a slide through the ramps. What? He's he's I think he's you, talking about a grind. On a ramp and he's you talking grind. about a grind. Yeah, slide through the ramp, <laughs> or just I was rail English. slide on top of the <laughs> right. ramp. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Did you have did you have rail guards or did you were you just straight board? Straight. What do you mean? Rail you have guard? no idea, huh? Okay, well. So check this out though. This guy is this is this the year your intro topic? <laughs> <laughs> that he's still yeah. that he's still celibate, hand celibate. So well, are, you, are you having sex though? I feel like we're carrying this topic. Let we him, are. Yeah. Let, go. <laughs> okay. Let's be silent for right. two minutes. Let's yeah. give him two minutes. Come on. So I, I didn't have much sex. I think I had. I think since we didn't see each other last, I think I probably had like one. One time throughout the last time we saw each other, actually, because we've been busy. So, technically... You only bust one nut since the last time we you saw got, you? you? I thought Techni- you were going to give yes, him some yes, air. Yes, yes, yes. I thought yes. you were going to let him carry the topic. Yes. You, you helping him out. Yes. Yes what? To Jamie Max question <laughs> that I only bust one nut since the last time y'all saw me. Yes. Hmm. So, how do you feel? You feel strong? You feel clear, clear-minded? I think I might feel a little bit more clear-minded. Ah, I placebo. This sounds like placebo. It definitely That's started. why I say I gotta, I gotta keep giving well, it more time. What would time. you put it on? How how confident are you that you feel stronger and more focused? So so this is this is this is the the way I I, I felt I felt it. I just remember some of the times after I jack off, I do feel like tired, like just for no reason, right? Like 
Not for no reason. You're right. <laughs> There's a reason. I mean, but just like, I just feel... It's called release. Yeah, I just feel a little bit lazier. I don't have that feeling. So I why do people smoke feeling. cigarettes? I'm just asking. I don't you, smoke because I don't know. Um, they they addicted to nicotine. <laughs> yeah, but what what's the what the feel? What are the they? What's, yeah, but what does he feel? What does that mean? I just did the for the listeners the pool method of cigarette smoking. The pool. No, method. okay. So <laughs> neither of those are why people smoke. Nobody who smokes are like, yeah, man, I smoke just because I'm addicted. And then the other person, nobody says, oh, I smoke because of the pool. Nobody says that. <laughs> some people say when they, some people say that when they quit cigarette smoking. The fact no, that's not what I asked because they like that that movement. Yeah, but that's not what I asked you. I said, why do people smoke? Because they, they enjoy something out of it. What? I mean, if you, I mean, how many how many years have you been alive? The high. What do people I don't smoke cigarettes? What do people who smoke say that they the high? But no, I don't know. I don't know that people say, "Yeah, man, I, w- I just want to get high. Let me smoke a yeah, cigarette." Yeah, cigarettes don't get you high, especially. I don't I mean, think that's in the what beginning, it, maybe. But they after give you that little head rush, though. But when you first smoke it, but the after first one, of but the that's day not why people smoke, right? They don't smoke for the head rush. I think they smoke well, for because it's, they're relaxed. It relaxes them, right? After they eat or you know they're to stressed shit, out or right. whatever, they'll right. they'll smoke for relaxation. Am I wrong? No, yeah. you're not because no, I mean, that, not that's generally no. it. That's probably why anybody does mostly any sort of vice. But that's why they masturbate too. It relaxes yeah. you, right? Yeah. So you're saying, man, the negatives of this is it makes me feel relaxed. But people are like, shit, that's why I do it. No, I, I'm not talking about that relaxed feeling. It's more of like a, I don't know, man. It's just, I just feel, I just feel more energetic. I'm not gonna lie. I feel more energetic throughout my day. I, I can say that. What, uh, so, okay. Just, 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 just more like, I have like more like willpower, like, I'll wake up earlier. Like, usually I'll, like... I don't know, it's just like... He has I'm more, more drive. I'm more, yeah, I feel more focused. <laughs> this don't sound real, bro. That's that's the only way I can... It's, you don't think this is in your head? Yeah. It like, could be, but but at the same time, one thing I do appreciate is I do appreciate the fact that I've been able to remain disciplined. You know, I just I just like the fact that I told how myself... How bad were you? What, wait, it's not that I was bad, but just the fact that I said, don't do this, and I remain and I stuck to my word. But that's weak, though, Because right? I, almost, I almost did it, and then right when I, I was ready, I got the lotion and everything, I was ready, oh, and man. then I was like, nah. I don't and know, I man. You, down, whoa, whoa, you blue-balled wait, 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 yourself? Wait, 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 wait. He did. I'm about to say, Aren't I you blue-balled yourself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Did you go to bed mad at yourself? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I was actually proud. I was like, damn, like, like yeah, like... Sticking to my word, I was actually proud of myself. So this has only been two three weeks, weeks, technically three. Three weeks, you've only had sex one time throughout that three weeks, and you've yeah. not masturbated at all in yeah. twenty one days. But this is yeah. to me, and that's how you build a habit. Listen, twenty one uh, days. Check us out, though. I agree. This whole discipline thing, right? Why don't you could do this in reverse? You could be disciplined and make sure that you do jack off every day, which would probably be better for your your, uh, your health. Prostate. It'd probably be better for your health as opposed to not doing it all. Doing it every day is better than not doing it and all. And then that would be discipline. Like, you don't but, but miss not, a day. I mean, would you, would you not, feel the same way or would you think like, oh, no, I'm a degenerate? Was this like an infinite type of thing? Or I don't know. Not infinite. I just wanted to try it out because they, they, I just was like, let me see if this shit's real. Like, so you're, what you want is to be really motivated and have a lot of drive but then get prostate cancer when you're 40? No, I'm not going to oh, get prostate okay. Cancer? You think because you don't masturbate that much? I don't know. Because I feel like masturbation. MSB is real. I feel like masturbation rate has increased the last thirty years because of internet porn. That's ridiculous. You just were born in the last thirty years, so, <laughs> so of course you, you, you think, think that. you think <laughs> niggas back then was jacking off as much as niggas now? Why not? Yes. There were porno tapes back then. There was, there was magazines. I'm not talking about, magazines. 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 Talking about that before then. that. Yeah, before porno tapes and magazines. Yeah. So what? The forties. Yeah, yes. Who knows? They who? still had different shit back right. then. But you so. think it was masturbating as much as who people are masturbating? Knows that's a that's a we question that makes no difference. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, we for sure have no idea. We for sure, I'm gonna say it again. We for sure have no idea whether or not you preventing yourself from jacking off is helping you by giving you more drive and more focus. Mm-hmm. But we absolutely know through scientific studies yeah. that masturbation does help. Fight against prostate cancer For sure So what I'm saying is Let's go with the known And that, that Woo woo science shit that Yeah shit. And I'm not telling people Not to masturbate But I just think that It's kind of cool At the same time that When you remove something Any any could be anything Whether it's a vice Or just anything in your life I think just the fact that You used to do something And you decided to stop And you stay disciplined within it I think there's a level of in Like gratification You get about yourself And then about your Mindset that that kind of sure, helps. Sure, sure. How gratified would you be if you just gave up pussy? That's something you used to do. And that'll de- and hey, and, and their scientific research will let you know that'll definitely save your life. What do you, what, what, so. I mean, I, I I do think the monks that can do that shit that's give up all those things and just become a monk. 
like I would like to have conversations with those guys about why. Like, what? I, I just think that's interesting when you're able to overcome extreme tough challenges, and I think that's a tough challenge. Well, to just let's avoid just, if you are, if you are, let's say that okay. Let's say that you had, for instance, had a, a, a weird <laughs> accent that people made fun of. Uh -huh. And let's say that, you know, you were losing your hair at an early age. Uh -huh. And you really couldn't get girls anyway because you're always wrecking your car and they're scared to get in the car with you, right? I mean, this is hypothetical. And so let's fix now. <laughs> let's, let's oh, just, it's fixed? Yeah. You hey. got the whole thing fixed? Yeah, fixed. The it. front, back, side, side? It was just the front. No. Yeah, you, had, you, had some, you, had some back, you had some back issues too. You got the front yeah, the fixed. front. It was just the front that was fucked. What'd you do on the back? Just buffed it the out? The back was fine. <laughs> he just you buffed, buffed out the white scrapes out, huh? <laughs> the back was fine. Sounds like the back is the same. <laughs> <laughs> the back was always fine. Just needed to be clean. <laughs> so did you do this insurance or off insurance? Off. Oh, so you just pay out of pocket? Yeah. I, I, Big I, money. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to let the insurance know I fuck up the car. Got you. Got you. So they still may replay, report it, but, you know, got you. Did you look at your car facts? It might be on there. Yeah, it will be because the accident was reported. Well, then who cares then? Yeah, but they, your but, insurance knows. But they have bro. to pay for shit though. So they no, might but not that, that ain't how it works, you bro. Didn't. But it might. But it, my bill's been the same. Six months passed. My bill's sure. stayed the same. You haven't renewed again. I renewed. That's what I say. Six months passed and just stayed the same. Then oh, okay. Because you know I leave them when they try to increase it. Why? I find a new one. Because I don't, I like my bills to be low. I don't want them to be higher. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so um. I, I just feel like you just this is this is made up in your head, and I grant I granted you know if you think that it I mean because again it's all about your mental perception anyway. Mm -hmm. If you think that you're stronger, you probably will be right. Mm -hmm. If you think that you're more focused, no, my nigga, you don't the, you can't think you're stronger. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I, you you can. <laughs> you, you will get your ass all the way whooped. You're running up on so much of my man. I ain't masturbated all month. You gonna, you gonna about to get this ass whooping, yeah. and then yeah. you get fucked up. <laughs> Hey, that still doesn't necessarily yeah. mean you weren't stronger. You can think a lot of shit, my nigga. I was thinking about mentally strong. You sound, yeah, like, yeah. You sound like one of them transgenders, bro. I think, I think, I feel, yeah, but the other person didn't think or feel he was stronger. They whooped that ass. I was talking about mentally, right? Because that's what you talk about, right? You think you're mentally stronger because you're you're able to resist the temptation. I'm not gonna say all that. I just think there's there's oh, a man. gratification I, you get. From being able to this recognize is, this that is our able intro to topic. This, this yeah. almost he's almost sure. No, no, because the way yes he's the way he's <laughs> the way he's trying to build that narrative. That's what, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Jamie Mack. What, what narrative? What narrative did I build? Oh, you think you're stronger because you haven't jacked enough? I'm you not said saying that. all that. I'm saying that there's a gratification you get when you're able to recognize. You're following discipline. through. You're Bro, following through. When you That's listen, all. When you listen to That's the show. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying stronger. I'm when, you, saying, when you listen to the show, uh -huh. you're going to hear yourself say, I feel stronger. I feel more focused. Right. Those are the things okay. that you said. Yeah. Okay. So I feel more all. focused for sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. When you say more focused, what does that mean? So you think distracting, like you lose your, you, like you're not able to concentrate when you, after you lose your net? Don't explain to me what focus is. I know what focus is. I'm saying when you say, I feel more focused, what do you mean? I think I, I, I'm able to get more shit done. Ah. Uh -huh. You know, well, how and long I, does it take you to jack off? It's not. A, I don't think jacking off <laughs> was taking a lot of time. It's the residual of jacking off. You feel lazier and yeah, that's what I'm less saying. Less focused yeah. and less strong. Yeah. So let's say like something. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just more, more, more direct. Like I, I oh do. Yeah, I'm God. just more direct with my approach. The last I don't believe weeks. any of this, bro. That's all I'm saying. That's all, I can say that he's almost positively kind of sure. So again, I think that you know, are you going to continue? Like again. Why not? Why go halfway, right? Like, cause you, you, I mean, cause, cause I'm not about to not know when I'm having actual. Sex. Just do the surgery, bro. Fuck it, let's get it over with. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cut that motherfucker I'm all the way off, sex. and that way you can't mess up. Look how strong you'll be then. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut your prostate out. You don't yeah, need that I'm motherfucker. Good. Just cut your prostate out. Get your balls going. Your dick. All that shit. Just be I might gone. want some kids, so I ain't ready for all that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you could just go ahead and, like you say, you admire the cuck, you admire the monk, you admire the Catholic priest. No. What the fuck? Why not? Cause they, cause, cause they're not holding back on anything. They, what they doing? Is, they just stop fucking women. What they doing is kind of evil. It's it's more of like you're sick. The the cuck is just a kink that's just I think that's very interesting. And the monk, 
the monk is the highest level of discipline. Well, the monk doesn't hurt anybody else either. But yeah. the, how, how do we know monks aren't touching other monks? Or, no, or monks they... are, are out of control, bro. Right. You remember those, those those articles I sent you guys? Yes. There's yeah, like a monk that. mafia, my nigga. They like got murders. On, they got bodies. They got drugs out there. I'm ass. sure there is a dark secret world for monks. Dark? It's not secret, man. Just, this is in the news, bro. <laughs> but look the ideal fucking... monk is a very highly disciplined nah, individual. The so ideal the I... monk is a big ass <laughs> drug dealer. So is the ideal priest, bro. Come on. Oh, uh, no. Nah. I don't think the ideal priest is the good guy. I think the ideal priest is the rapist. Depends on, huh? What? No, not the I. That's not why the ideal that one. Why wouldn't that be the same in the monk community, right. though? Because the monk mafia is not as prevalent as the rapist priest. That's when you say rapist priest, what, that, and you yeah. don't know this, you're just saying that, right? right? You don't know whether or not you that's mean true. molester. I'm telling you, there's an article. Okay, molester. My bad. Because <laughs> I, I don't know if they're out there like raping people. Well, in, it's in statutory the rape. It's yeah. statutory rape. Yeah. So it would still be considered rape. Mm-hmm. Damn. So, just real, like, <laughs> off topic, because his intro topic sucked. It did suck badly. So, so, no, but nobody listened to that part. It was like, <laughs> man, this show's going to be great. They were like, what the fuck? So, let me ask you this, then. So, if that's right, what is it when them uh, rabbis are sucking on the little baby's penis after the <laughs> yeah, fucking... Uh, yeah, I saw that shit. I don't know After that circumcision. Is, that's that's a thing, though. That's some, that that got to be something. What, what do you mean? mean? What do you mean? It can't just what be under mean? the guise of culture. Okay, so it has yeah. to be a rape type of so thing. So let's uh, Pac. Welcome to Pac. In case oh, you guys sorry, didn't know, we yeah, to right? <laughs> Pac uh, is in the house. Hey, um, there's a thing for the Orthodox rabbis when they circumcise little Jew boys after they cut off the foreskin, they suck on the pee pee. Like half, the, suck the blood. Like half, you cut your finger and you suck on it to stop the blood. Same thing. Yeah, but they're giving little babies herpes. Yeah, some babies got herpes from it though. First of all, my rabbi cannot what have herpes. I need to see fuck? paperwork. Yeah, that part. First of all, and like my thing is like, hold on, wait a minute. You're not giving the. You're not giving the uh, pox it, time. It, to, yeah, you didn't give me time to absorb that. <laughs> yeah, shit. This is a real thing. This is like fuck? culture. This is yeah. like a common practice. And there's videos. And yeah. there's videos. Oh, I, I don't want to see any of and that. And the parents are all fine with it. Is that oh, porno? Fuck no. Uh, that's something. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like that's that's that child shit, right? Like you couldn't, you should not yeah, be able to. I don't care how you trying to doctor that shit up. Like, like, there's other methods and means we got yeah, in, in 2023. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You Some don't wipes. have to do that. Come Sh- on. Shout man. out to Pac, by the way, who's having to use French Reggie's old mic stand. He's doing a good job too. It hasn't broken yet, and he's even been able to put his hand on it. Right, and it he's didn't fall apart, it and it's right. not it's not completely falling apart. Oh, by the way, a little housekeeping. So obviously the the mic stand issue. But French, I got many complaints from your inability to play that damn phone through the <laughs> microphone correctly. I caught one of them, so the 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 original one I think with your cousin, mm-hmm. I turned that one up. But there were some others in there, man, terrible. Like that, whoever that woman was who was talking, or no, the guy, the Asian dude who was talking about, <laughs> nobody heard. They're like, what is this? They want to ban you. They were trying to ban you from ever doing it again. But I think we're just gonna have to go back to the cable. And and okay. just or you could just realize what holes no, are. No, 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 I did no, it. No, I did no. it. I did it. That, it's no. The one with the more speakers. And 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 no. But you, but you did, did you listen back to the show? Yes. You couldn't hear anything no. that dude was saying. Yeah. And you had it up, but not loud enough. So I mean, my phone let's, wasn't loud. let's just use the cable from now on. All right. <laughs> all turn it all the way up and then come down one. That's that's for you know anybody who's listening who also does podcasting. The best, the best sound quality is all the way up on your phone and then back down one, one notch. And right. then that way it won't distort. Mm-hmm. But same, anyway. same thing in your car, right? When you connect to your, your phone Could to be. Your, your Bluetooth, you know what I mean? And you have it going up. You And you have two controls, right? You have your phone control and your... Oh, see, con- my car doesn't do that. My, my car, when I turn the volume on my, my phone, my car volume goes up. It shows on the screen. It goes up. They're connected. Well, same here. Your, your car is very fancy, though. I That's don't have a fancy car. Mine does the same, too. Yeah, when I hit the volume on my phone, <laughs> my car volume goes up on the screen. Yeah, well, we're, we're, yeah, mine's the same too. No, no, it's it's like, just you, my nigga. Well, I got a 2012. Let, no, yeah, you don't. Yeah, no, yeah, you don't. Yeah. What's different about this one person, guys? Android. Android. <laughs> That's the you don't got Apple CarPlay, nigga. That's why. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not running through no, no play. I don't have CarPlay, but yeah. yeah, but I think it's just, you know, Android is like, you know, we don't need that feature. <laughs> There's like 50 features that Android just threw out. I just put my, because I got an equalizer on my phone now. You know, I could just. Everybody has it. that, bro. There's so, an so equalizer in, in Apple Music, too. Yeah, you can go to the yeah. app and do that. That's yeah, well, it's just in my phone. It's not in Apple Music. It's just phone wise. Yeah, yeah. So because just in case you want your your text Anyways, message look, we're not notifications doing this right now. to have a little we're not, bass. We're not doing this right you now. You want your text me- message notification to have a little kick to them. Back up off me. <laughs> it's cool though. You said he's gonna come to Team iPhone soon. Get, get your asses back up off me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so cable, friend. From now on, you gotta use the cable. I don't care how long it takes to set up. You gotta use the cable. That mm-hmm. you, you are impossibly bad at tech. 
<laughs> you are, to be a young generation dude too. That just doesn't make sense. Like Bro, you grew up with tech. When when first joined the show, let me, let me tell you how I relieved. I'm like, okay, fuck, we got somebody young. That means they're gonna be good at tech. Cause you and Jay Smooth are fucking terrible. I got somebody smooth. They, I mean, I mean, somebody young. They're gonna be able to do this thing. Oh, and social media is gonna be off the hook. None of this is true. Prince Reggie's the oldest young nigga I know, man. He don't know how to use no technology. He don't fuck with social media really. It's like, yeah, he's an old soul. Yeah. <laughs> this is like my fifth or seventh life, probably. I just don't remember the other ones. You used to be a, uh, what was that? A, uh, a bitch. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then he got uh, female, he you, got female underlings. You used to be a you got ooh <laughs> before? my twin sister. She's always with me, that's all. You ever was a you got ooh? <laughs> nah. Yeah, you were. I think you were a little. That's, kind of, that's why you're so, belie- you believe it so much. Biting shit, you were niggas. something. You got Biting. turned into something. Biting niggas. Maybe he, maybe he started off as a chicken, and now he turned his ass. <laughs> he turned him into a dude, and he just, he just got that like. I feel, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is his most masculine reincarnation, though. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the one. That's why he has all these thoughts and these ideas. Like, women are great, you know, like, like all that. That's that's because the this is Princess Peach at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you had another intro topic, it sounded like. Yeah, I was just asking about the, the fucking, the, the, the... Hold on, let me do it, let me do it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Go, that's you. So, hey, um, <laughs> what religion is it that allows you to suck on a kid's dick and makes it okay? I know there's a lot of... Kid, is that... Is, Catholicism. Is, is that Catholicism a- is like that, I guess. They just <laughs> they just move the priest around. Like, <laughs> they just move the priest around. Yeah. So, so Catholicism and Judaism yeah. are, are, are the two religions that... Are okay with child sex with the, with your priest or your rabbi sucking on your on your on the little kids' peepees. Yes. That's just wild to me, man. And when you sent that video, I was just like, "What are the fuck?" And the parents are sitting right there, like you got better. That's a you- crowd, and they got a, they got a crowd watching this yeah, old like, like little some baby. Things you just got to question tradition. Like when you see certain things, you be like, "What? Why y'all do things like?" But that? just think about it, right? You've been ducking as an adult. We all have, right? Well, you've been fucking ducking STDs. You know, trying to fucking. Yeah. Judge chicks and you know and put yourselves in the right situations. You can't even meet your first birthday and you already got herpes, my nigga. Come on, and you bro. can't get rid of herpes though. Damn. So it's like it's permanent, right? Like you get you and, and he was sucking it while he was on a breakout. The, the priest could have took the day off. The I rabbi, he, I know he didn't. His, his face didn't look fucked up. I, he just, got all that hair. How you know? It's just yeah. that's it's why just, you gotta have a shape. That's why I was yeah, you gotta pussies. shave, rabbi. Right you gotta have a, a clean sh- face. Yeah, yeah I don't man. think they can. I think they have to have a beard. Oh, so yeah. you to hide the herpes. <laughs> oh shit. Because again, like you meet a girl, right? You you just like what your early teens, and you're like, yeah, I want to do something, but I gotta let you know, I got herpes. She's like, I thought you was a virgin. Yeah, I got it from a rabbi. Like, like, nah, like, you know, like, like how do you break that down? You. Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody gonna even believe you. <laughs> no, no one's gonna believe you. You just dirty dick Dan now. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> you're nasty. That's fucked like, up. Like, come on, man. No, I swear. You gotta I, have a redo at life. I got a video <laughs> of it. I got a video. Right. Gotta, <laughs> bruh, have, that was me in the movie. You, you gotta have a redo of life. <laughs> Can't start your life with just herpes. That's, That's fucked, so up. fucked up. But what if you're like really, really? You what if you're born into like a really, really rich family? So you're just gonna give somebody herpes? Like you no. Know? So you're like you got all this other shit going for you as a baby, but then you also got herpes. To be rich and not to be able to <laughs> eventually, fuck them up. hormones is gonna get to talking and and. Eat. Oh man, you're that's just gonna so have to find up. like a herpes dating app. They got medicine for that shit, man. If you yeah. got, would you rather? Okay, would you rather be billionaire status rich when you're a baby, like you're born into that, but you got herpes, or be broke and not have any any sexually transmitted diseases? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me that herpes. Right, like, like, it's so many people with that shit, bro. Like the treatment, yeah. like, like like they got a pill. I'm sure they got a pill that does cream, something. Something. Like, listen. You could always and, wear condoms. And, and if you got enough money, chicks won't even give a fuck. Yeah. Like, they don't care. Right, I'll who, catch her with you. Who is that? It was a football player or something, right? They asked the chick, like, yo, you know you got herpes. Oh. Shit. Um, the word on the street was, uh, what's his name from uh, the Yankees was out there uh, burning. Uh, to my, uh, Jeter? Jeter? Yes, sir. Jeter got a connection, I, so that's possible. I know Rick Fox had it, and that's why him and they say him and Vanessa Williams broke up. But, you know, who knows? It's too late now. No, it ain't. I mean, well, if you if you if is, he gave is, it to is you, is it ever too late? If really? I go get if I go get a test and I don't have it yet, yeah, it's not too late. No, bro. I'm just saying, but I think that's what, what you found out. How, right? <laughs> how did you find out I, think, I had it? I think he found out he had it. Okay, and then he told her. I think that yeah, some kind yeah, of way back, okay, that, that, or that, maybe he was cheating or something. I just think maybe he might have given it to her. Right, that's usually how you get caught. You pass SCDs so you're as saying, a cheater. So you're saying, fuck it, you already gave it to me. We're good. 
Hey, no hard feelings? No ill will? No, no, there's definitely ill will. Can we fight or something first? For sure, but now I'm going to have to go out here and, and, and try to... I, now, I'm bad, right? Like, I'm I'm the fucking contagion monkey. Yeah, but I'm not trying to stay with your ass because I got to. That don't even feel good. That's yeah, true. I mean... I'm not going to be in this relationship just because there's nobody else who will accept my herpy ass. Because you gave me... You put, you put me all bad. I, I'm, I'm damaged goods. I just got to find somebody else with herpes that's, that's cool. With like, yo, how'd you get it? <laughs> yeah, my partner, man. Fucking partner did me wrong. Yeah, me too. And now we got some shit to be, you know, trauma bond. I'm my rabbi. <laughs> like, yeah. I bet you there's a Facebook group for I, that. Tell me I wouldn't change a religion. I ain't gonna lie. Like if, if, if Oh I, yeah, I'm done with I'm, I'm done with that. I'm done. Like, how did you get like you let it he gave me what? Like, nah, man, I'm turning into something. Fuck Atheist. Like, There's no like, way they're letting this happen in 2020. What are you talking about? This is, These were all recent yeah, that videos. Was a, that was a new yeah, video I sent yeah, y'all. Where, uh, that's so weird. Some parents are cool with that. I don't care if I grew up in that culture. That's crazy. What are you talking about? You believe in your culture certain weird shit. Yeah, and, but... And it's passed down. Your cousin yeah, believes it. But, but it His, your grandma believes it. Believe it. it has your nothing your to do cousin with got butt, he got butt naked in the street. How old was he when he did that happen? He yeah, might have been younger. And butt naked in Haiti. He changed his clothes at home. He changed his clothes at home. I just pointed like he pointed to <laughs> his Haiti that way. Yeah, but he was still outside though. She sprayed that nigga outside. Yeah, but he was home in <laughs> with Haiti. Tomato we have, juice. We have barricades, so so we good. So that like yeah, when you out the front house, like you you nobody like can a see courtyard. You. Yeah, nobody can see you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he got barricades. I thought he was talking about like voodoo barricades. Like mm-hmm. you, once you come through there, like right. you hit the you hit the wall. You're like, nah, you got something on you. You can't come through. <laughs> you can't come through. How do you Instagram on you that? They got those condoms. Look, somebody was listening to my idea. You saw that, right? Nah. Somebody fucking heard my idea and with made the those, colors. Made the condoms with the colors. So but depending on what color, that's what STD you got. They, that person asked. What See? the fuck? They were listening to me. I had the idea first, man. I was saying the we condom have... turned color to tell yes. you what STD you got. Yes. Yes. Damn. Not you, the person you're fucking. Damn. It's on the outside. So they... what I what I said was we should have it. We should invent an app. The app that everybody just signs up for their app. You just you, it's all personal. It's all HIPAA. It's all HIPAA compliant. So and, and encrypted. I put my information in my phone. And then what we do when we meet, we tap phones, and then it get, it gives you a, either a green or it gives you a yellow or it gives you a red, and that lets you know that if you have diseases that I have, you'll be green. If you have diseases that if I have diseases that aren't like permanent or whatever, they might be yellow. Like the clap. But if it's red, that means I got some shit that you ain't got, and you don't need to mess with me, and, and it, vice versa. It might not ever go away. And might and vice versa. So right. that way, we don't have to. I don't have to know what you got. But once we link up, it hits our phone. If I get that green, like oh shit, we good to go. But if I get yellow, we may have to have a discussion. If I get red, ah, uh, we can't mess around. I feel like the beta. And that's and for that's this for app sure an app that will hit. That would hit. That, that app would hit. It would that. hit, but it would have to be done in some way where like that information has to be HIPAA encrypted. HIPAA, HIPAA man. Guy, HIPAA, it would it would be HIPAA. They already compliant. want that information online, so they're gonna they're gonna love it. It would app. be HIPAA compliant because it goes into your personal ha- health app. Right, just gotcha. like that, that information. Gotcha. It doesn't yeah, tell okay. you what I have. It just gives it you a green you light, anything. yellow light, red light. But it doesn't have you manually putting in what you have. Well, not for you. It does. I can do it in my phone, but you. Have to put yours in your phone when we tap for not us because we're dudes, but I'm saying. Well, see, I see what he's saying because motherfuckers would be lying. Exactly. Well, no, 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 no. So, so the the the. Because if we doing that and I'm out here trying to fuck, I'm not putting that I got this shit. Blah 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 blah. So I'm showing up red on motherfucker shit. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so it's got to come straight from the doctor. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be linked. It had to be and, signed. It's got to be linked not to the like internal system where right. all that shit is there and, and you yeah. know you, yeah, that kind of shit. But yeah, the idea is solid though. Yeah, well, and it, it it didn't work because somebody came out with a condom first, so I don't even know if my app is any good anymore. But if so, hey, look, if one of y'all come up with it, fucking give me my royalties. That's all. I just want. Uh, I think your idea is still better than the condom. And you know they got. Let's, do it. They let's, use let's develop it then. I think your idea is better than the condom because I'll, I'll cut you, you in. Let's do you, it. You didn't already got too far at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time you, but at least you got a condom on still. It, That's maybe. true, but still, maybe. what if you got to make decisions? <laughs> what if shit? What if that shit busts? You just come out with the ring and that shit is red. Like you like oh. your dick is glowing. Your dick is glowing the color. Like you, you came with the bare skin. Now you coming with the thicker one. <laughs> yeah, this the syphilis oh, is on my dick. It's got the red one that say HIV and it's like oh Ooh. shit, but it didn't bust. And you're like God damn, that. That's just a. What is that? Like, I mean, it's I a think, fight. I think you got to have two condoms with you because the first one got to be a finger condom. Yeah, listen, <laughs> yeah. because again, they have they have that you know fingernail <laughs> polish shit, right? Uh-huh. For the for the females, like you could dip it in your drink and it'll tell you if it's got like rufalin in it or something like that. Your finger, your nail polish will change. Huh? Yeah, 
That's dope. That's yeah. stupid. I'm no, not putting my fucking finger in my drink. And then I mean, drink. Motherfucker, gotta, motherfuckers stare at drinks with fingers all the time, ooh, man. Ooh, nigga, what gross-ass bitches you be dealing with? Listen, man, if you really want to get roofied or not, don't fucking... If you don't want to get roofied... you're out in public, you stir your drink with your finger? I've No, not in public, but I've stirred my finger. I've stirred a drink with my finger before. Why? Because who, I needed to stir that. Has bitch. anybody in here done that? You could always do that with your with the cup. I mean, who, you don't have spoons nigga. at your house. You ain't nigga? never fucking fucking had no put, put no fucking liquor in your shit with the ice cubes and fucking stirred that bitch up. You don't have a, uh, like a straw. I didn't or even need no. I didn't need one. I just used my fucking why finger. Hey, maybe it's a Cali thing, dude. God God damn. Damn. Why I, are you being I, so I know what they're talking about. This nigga over here. You could do this with it. But why are you being so defensive? Because man, it's this nigga. He got me. Yeah, it's Fred Reggie. Because soon as this nigga, as soon as you said something, instead of fucking even thinking about it, he kind of rational fucking opinion I, he's like you could I just do I it I give like, you a rational you could, opinion when I just, need to stir something I, I don't have a spoon nigga you from Haiti nigga y'all stir shit with your feet stop <laughs> <laughs> stop now he gets to insult he has to insult you now he's gone from offended to insult you know some Haitians do listen to this podcast <laughs> what? so what they, they're like yeah we do Haitians got spoons my nigga it's just your goofy ass <laughs> nigga from finger. what country where did they borrow from we got wooden spoons nigga <laughs> where did they borrow from <laughs> you know we got internet in Haiti who, right? had, who had a surplus that they Fuck it, was it the Super Bowl spoons? Wow. Nah, <laughs> we, we, we the, just have regular spoons. They got fucking wow. plastic utensils from the fucking wrong Super Bowl winner. That's not racist. What is that? If you're that's I guess it's just prejudice against Haitians. Yeah. I'm not I mean, I'm not prejudiced against Haitians. Oh, really? Maybe. Because they are black. <laughs> and so I might be, so I don't know. <laughs> but but I don't think they're the same black. I'm as much as prejudiced against them as they are of us. No, they're not prejudiced against us. You see, you saw that video I posted where it was a whole Haitian like think tank. Yeah. And they was talking shit about black Americans. It's it's the same shit immigrants always talk about black Americans. about. Immigrants how, or Haitians? Immigrants. Mm, you would want to probably put everybody Immi- in the boat. Every immigrant says that about black Americans. White immigrant, Hispanic immigrants, or black immigrants. They always say, hey, I'm going to come here and take advantage of the shit y'all take for granted. So that's, that, that's really the overall consensus. But they were talking a lot of shit. But it's the same shit that we hear all the times from an immigrant when they say, when they want to talk down on black Americans. I don't like it because it's fucking up the whole black diaspora, but it is what, what? it is. <laughs> diaspora. What's that mean? Just like the whole entire black community. You probably heard Haitians, it Africans. before. <laughs> yeah, I said it in our language. Um, between Haitians, between Caribbeans, Africans, and black Americans. Okay. And black Europeans too. I should put them out there too. Mm, I don't know. I mean the ones in in London, the blacks, nah, the know, blacks the bla- that grew up in Europe. The cheeky bastards. It's that kind of experience. I don't know, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's a little different, in it. it. Yeah, in it, in it. Look, I don't know if that's actually not true or not because you saw how they was treating what's her name up in there. <laughs> Mar- Megan Markle. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. But 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 that is some fucked up things to say. But that is the truth. The immigrants really believe that. Especially Haitians. Yeah, Haitians believe that. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you ain't trying to jump out the boat. But you don't think that's the case? No, what do you mean that's the case? What? Do you, what? No. You, you don't think Americans, I'm not even going to put on black Americans, you don't think Americans take America for granted? Sure they do. Yeah, we're spoiled. Okay. Yeah, <clears throat> Yeah, because we haven't had that. I mean, it's like being born into a rich family that fucking... Your rabbi sucks your dick. It's like again, you don't, you ain't had to work for shit. You know what I mean? Like you got for a the, nut early. Like no, you. I mean, you got free herpes right, right yeah. off the bat. Like you didn't have to work for shit. <laughs> free herpes. <laughs> so, so you, yeah, you know, when you had shit given to you, including herpes. Like you ain't never had no pussy. Yes, I have. Look, I got herpes. Right. You can fool everybody in the fourth grade. Right. How you think I, I got this book on my face? You, I got this STD already. <laughs> Surgically transmitted. I've been fucking That's since been up. fucking. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I no, I think that yeah, definitely. But I don't think everybody does. I think if you've been fucking down bad in America, you fucking know what that is, and you appreciate when you're not down bad. I, I think the people that haven't been down bad uh, take shit for granted. So yeah, I think that's the same thing. The immigrants- someone say that Black Americans or poor Americans, in a nutshell, um, remains poor because they're not taking things. They're not taking advantage of America. Really? Some will say, I don't believe that. What do you believe? I believe America systematically puts you in a position that if you are poor, that it's no matter what you do, you might be stuck in that position. Yeah. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's, there's a color line for that either. Right. That's just poverty. I think think that there's just a, there's a system set up and it's very hard to break out of it. Most of, most of our millionaires and billionaires were um, born. It was transferred. It, right. Wealth Inherited, was, right. Wealth was transferred. It was it's very difficult to become a millionaire from a nothing heir. 
Yeah, and it, and I think too, it's a mindset, right? Like I think if you don't know anything but poverty, it's hard to, you know, well, that, imagine shit. You yeah, know? but see, that's that's what I think is the system, right? The mindset, like you're not allowed to get access to the mindset of the rich, right? You just you're you're pigeonholed your entire life. They yeah. con- they constantly have things working against you overcoming and jumping outside of that. Yeah. You, so you think the biggest problem is the mindset? Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest problem is the 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 like would you put that ignorance part of mindset because I feel like the problem is the lack of knowledge which fucks you up from the beginning. Uh, we're talking about the same thing then. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. mindset. Okay. Yeah, I, just, okay. I, I don't I don't think I think the knowledge is taken is not given to people. Yeah. And on purpose. Yeah, it's, for it's, sure. it's engineered to not be given to certain people. Yeah. Man, listen, I told you guys, right, about this motherfucking ADD shit in in the fucking Tylenol. I've been talking that yeah, shit since that. from from day one. Yep. I, I'm starting to see the bigger picture now. Okay. And it's and it's these smartphones, right? Like, so it's I, I came across an article that was called "Dopamine Smartphones and You," right? And and basically, did I am I looking at the wrong one? This could not be the first topic, bro. I, you I, are. I, this is ridiculous. How how bad we are at this? No, 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 no. I am looking at it. You were right at first. The segue I gave you and that you were going with was the right one. I don't know what happened. I, oh, you know. <laughs> you were going with you, the... You, you saw the moment he started talking. I picked up my phone. He was going with check. the segue earlier. He <laughs> said, I don't, he's about hating black people. I was like, oh, I gave him a segue. It's perfect. I thought, you know, honestly, I thought I was jumping. <laughs> Like the moment it's he started Android. talking, he's like, you, it's the like, Android. Blame it on the Android. <laughs> oh my Blame God. it on the Android. So let's do it then, man, because okay. I'd rather talk about that. that that's I, where you were already. I'd rather talk about that because, again, like the black people hate is, is I understand now okay. why I am the way I am. Okay. Oh, okay. And I blame black people. Oh, no. I blame black people for me not fucking with black people, right? Wow. In what ways? Like, like, because, again, like, so again, this is the thing. Over my life, the majority of the fucking, I'm going to say, atrocities, right, that have fucking befallen me have all been committed by black people, that, right? That, like, is, so again, growing up... That's not a black thing. That's just a... Uh, what do you mean it's not a black thing? That's just because you live in a proximity I mean, yeah, of Yeah, i that's a proximity. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> just like Bullshit. if a white guy comes in, comes to this Bull podcast, they said, all my life, Shit. all the atrocities that I faced in my life Bull were done by white people because he's probably Shit. surrounded by white people. Bullshit. Uh, do you think that a white person would say that? Or he'd be like, man, all the bad shit happened in my life has been black people. <laughs> Bullshit, right? So listen, this is what I'm telling you. Okay. That's not the case. Okay. I grew up around white people. But I, I, okay. okay, what Finish, are you, you going to tell me? What the fuck are you going to tell no, me about I, what the I'd fuck rather, I grew I'd up? I'd rather French tell us how you grew yeah, up. Yeah, let me, come on, tell me. <laughs> I was going to say, you grew up around white people, but they're not like embedded into your culture. So it's not what? like... What? It's not like gonna be embedded into my culture for I interacted with these motherfuckers. Are you trying they, to say they didn't live in the same neighborhoods or something? No, in the or? same household and stuff like that. That's why I'm not trying. the people I'm talking about didn't live in my house, nigga. Okay. Go keep it's talking. It's not it's not my it's not my family members I'm talking about. I understand. Keep talking. I'm talking about people that I went to school with. Okay. I went to school with black, white, Mexican, fucking Asians. I went through to school with Who all of them. Who did you interact with the most at school? All of them. Okay. God, so what now? What you got no, to say? Nothing. You can keep finish. I cut okay. you off anyway. So right. Sure going. you did. I know. That's <laughs> a, that's your thing. But anyways, so <laughs> with that, with that being said, I I haven't you know growing up, like I said, around white people, Mexicans, Asians, black people. Black people are the only people that tried to bully me. I didn't have I didn't have no white bullies. I didn't have no motherfucking uh whatever. Like I I didn't buy weed from white people, Mexicans. Asians, black people. Ain't never had nobody sell me no bag of oregano except for no black people. I ain't never had nobody take my money and run except for black people, right? Like, growing up and fucking, you know, working for people. I've worked for white people, Mexicans, Asians, black people. The worst fucking people I've ever worked for are black people. Like, fucking around with this school that I'm going to right now is ran by black people. It is fucking trash. It, it's it's horrible. And, I'm, and I told him, I said, you guys are the reason why black businesses have a fucked up reputation because of how you guys do this shit. Yeah, the only reason. I got, I got 11 reasons that help them. <laughs> I'm like, this, this, is you, this is horrible. Listen, I guarantee it's probably a nigga that fucked my ex-wife. Like, you know what? So, <laughs> whoa, so, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What, do you, what do you mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I, you, 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 you jump. You say you guarantee the nigga that was at the school fucked your ex-wife? No. no. What he the, said, he, why don't you keep up? He's saying he he is sure that whoever cheated with his wife was probably was a nigga. Black. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
I, Stay I, with me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so so again, <laughs> so how'd you find what that the out? fuck <laughs> happened in the past week? Did we get Dick Gregor on this show? You know how Dick Gregor <laughs> always get mad at the nigga talking to him on the like motherfucker. I told you, you you gonna give me your opinion? Why the fuck you interviewing me? It's my opinion. Nobody <laughs> care about your opinion. R.I.P. Dick Gregor, man. I try to tell you, Tupac was in the car and the Tupac daughter and Quincy Jones' daughter was in the back seat. They shot from inside the car, right? So now you gonna how you gonna ask me about some other shit? I'm the one getting interviewed. <laughs> exactly. Because this nigga, you know what it is? It's, it's, it's months of this nigga always interrupting me. And it's just He don't be interrupting you that much. You're doing, you're, now, you're, now you're gaslighting. I don't think he be interrupting <laughs> listen, you that much. Listen, now you're gaslighting. Because I'm not gaslighting. Listen, okay, don't make me go ahead and start pulling fucking timestamps. Because it's always, and, and what it is, I'll just stop. Because I understand that we both can't talk at the same time. He right. don't. Right. He don't, but they, this is the It thing. might be lost in translation. Yeah, it may be. And, and so my point was, again, he, he's the only one that was like, whoa, 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 whoa. He didn't understand what was going on. He was yeah. the only one who was lost. Right. Everybody else understood what was going on. Right. Okay. But then he'll be like, yeah, yeah, you, you, you getting people lost. Don't no one understand what you're talking about, Jamie, man. Oh, that's right. Punish that nigga, man. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, Gregory, go ahead and punish him. So go continue. Huh? So, huh? so in my life, mm-hmm. it's in my experience, the reason why I don't, I, I fucking have animosity, and it's fucking bonnets, right? It's fucking all this other shit, right? Like it's, it's the shit that fucking embarrasses me as part of the fucking culture too, right? Like I see dudes now wearing fucking bonnets, right? It's fucking <laughs> niggas with dreads. No, no, just niggas and not gay niggas that don't look like. I don't know if they gay. He didn't look gay, but this nigga had a fucking bonnet on, and I'm like, come on, man, this is stupid now. Like this shit is junk. We just jumped the shark with this motherfucker. This is a shower cap. And nobody ever wore a shower cap outside until now. I don't give a fuck what you put on. It's still a shower cap. And it's dumb. And it and your hair can't be worse than what you look like with this bitch on, right? So, again, mm. I, listen, <laughs> how about scarves? We, we can't go back to scarves like that? I don't want none of it. If you come, if you dumb, bring your dumb ass out the house, fix yourself up. That, that, there's that, right? There's that. And then, you know. There well, are regular hats you could wear, ladies. You know what I'm yeah. saying? There are reg, there's regular shit you could put on your head. Niggas that fucking wear belts and fucking got their fucking pants with their underwear showing and shit. Like again, and it's and it's not on it's like not on accident. It's a purposeful thing. It's like you right. do this on an intentional, which makes me feel like, God damn, I want to jump out this boat. Right? Like mm-hmm. it, but here I am, man. But at the same time, I would just rather bitch slap everybody into fucking submission and make people get act right. Like fucking run your fucking school fucking right. Oh. Pull your fucking pants up. Fucking, you know what I mean? Fuck your own girl. Like, I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so frustrating about this whole thing, though, is that we can't turn our backs. But how do you stay with it? I, I'm. I, we I, had that conversation. Now we say we can't save everyone. Yeah, right? but you. But you. It's so. It's so frustrating because. Part of me is like, man, fuck them. If they're not gonna, if they don't get it, if they don't understand it, if they think that I'm selling out because I don't want to be like that, Mm -hmm. then I need to just separate myself from them. But at the same time, man, we need all of us. Yeah, but do you think that majority of the black population in America is more on that spectrum? What Jamie Mack is talking about, or Uh, what we think? You don't. I feel like most majority of black Americans are more like us. Okay, so I, this is what I know. I know that um, going through school or going through whatever back in the day, like the joke is if you speak properly or you have yeah, you right, yeah, yeah, and that's everybody. That's not that's not unique to a couple of a couple of crews here or there. That's at every school in every neighborhood in every city in every state of the United States. Yeah. They mess with you if you don't. Do nigga like there, there's there's nigga shit, and if you don't do nigga shit, then you're oh you're a sellout, you're a white you're a white boy, or you're yeah. a coon or whatever. But that's what I'm saying. Do you think the people that are calling you there's more people there's more black people that would call you a sellout versus yes? What are you, you talking don't? about? What are you talking about? And you like don't in the school, that? you think that there's a uh, there's a whole contingent of uh, well. You know, so there's like articulated motherfuckers there's that are like, hey, no, no, we're good. And they're they're also good. No, you better be good at something else. Right. Like you better if that's what you're going to be on. Right. You better be fucking captain of the football team. You better be the fucking point guard. You better be something that other niggas going to give some cred to. But if you're just smart and you fucking are just talking like a motherfucker that got some sense about their ass. Nah, you you gonna get fucking ridiculed. You gonna no, no, they're, you're they're right. coming for you. Trust they're gonna beat you with your trumpet case. Trust right. Me. <laughs> Trust me, you, you, you right. Don't be in band. Please don't try to be. Don't try to have any kind of. If skill. you're in band, you gotta play snare drum, right. or drums, or tuba. Right. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you get a couple of instruments. And if it's another one of mother bitch ass instruments, we gonna talk about your ass. Oh, this nigga got an oboe? Oh, hell, dog. <laughs> this nigga play the oboe, my nigga. <laughs> you are getting fucked with if you play the oboe. For sure, bro. Absolutely. Niggas knocking your fucking trumpet case out your hand. <laughs> you might be right. You might be right. I guess I'm just thinking about nah, they right. my I, upbringing. It's they're, universal they're, they're right. French. <laughs> it's, even in Boston, French. No, it's, no, you're right. Those, those jokes, like, I even got them just because I had good grades. You yeah. know, oh, why are you acting white? Like, I understand all of that. I just... Giving a fuck is, is, a, is an anti, anti-black I just feel like there's, like there's 13... They say the population is 13% for black people here. I just think... Eight percent of us are trying to live right. I I would not. I give just us think 80. it's because because right? I always feel we like, might be 50 50 French, but maybe, okay, I, maybe I'm maybe not 50, giving 50. us eighty okay, 20. Maybe no way possible. I just I, I always feel like the minority always gonna scream loud. That's why we always feel it like it's very prevalent. But because mm. I think the people that are on their shit are never gonna talk because you're doing the right thing. So okay, they, you're never gonna hear those stories of like the black dads that are here because let me give you a paradigm shit. That. Let me give you a paradigm shit. But the niggas that don't be dads, you're gonna always hear stories about that because they're not supposed to do. Let that. me give you a paradigm shit. Let's say we were to call ten white people right now, randomly call ten white people. We don't know where they're from, where they yeah. do, what, etc. Some of them may be older, younger, women, men, whatever. Do you think that if we ask them, do the majority of the black people that you know? speak properly and, and, and care about education or whatever, or do they go to school just to joke and tell, tell jokes in class and, and disrupt the class? What do you think that most people are going to say? Like when you overall, when you think of when you were back in school, how the black kids acted compared to how the white kids acted. What do yeah, you, so the white person would say that black people are joking in, in class, but when you, what you just said, when I go back to school and think about all the black kids that were acting bad, right. it was three black kids acting bad that interrupted the entire class. But that class has still had 14 other black kids that did not interrupt the class. Right. But those three black kids is what you remember. No, but hold so on. So my hold brain... On. Yeah. But in something like class go, as far as something like class goes, though, once class is interrupted, it's interrupted. It don't yeah. matter how many there are. Now, hold on. How many black kids of those 14 said, hey, guy, hey, man, stop doing that so right. we can get back to class? None of them Because if shit. they don't do that, then yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, none of them said no. We just and that's yeah. what I'm saying. See, the problem is, is that there's a really there's a big issue with fitting in in the black community. There's this fit in thing, right? And if you were to go the against that, card. if you were to go against that, now you're oh man, look at this sellout. Look at this Oreo dude. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you so, are. You, I so see, I the problem corrected. isn't those three people. It's the fact that the other 14 still can't say shit because if they do say something, those three are going to attack that person, and everybody's going to laugh to basically say they're validating what those three people are saying because the person who tried to stand up and say something else is going to get laughed at, and now he's getting bullied basically for caring or for wanting to get back to class. Yeah, and the, I think that no matter what high school you go to in the world, the black that. kids there are going to just go along because they want to fit in. It's so important to fit in as a black kid. Yeah, no, I stand corrected. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how quick you stand corrected with Beyonce say shit. I'm just, I'm just amazed. Oh, my God. No, I'm just amazed. You're maybe, so jealous. No, I, no, you're just more articulate, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you're like able, chick, <laughs> you're, you're, you're <laughs> able, you're able to articulate better than me, obviously. That nigga just called him like a side chick. That's okay because of course he's gonna say that shit because this nigga will fucking dispute me to the fucking <laughs> roosters come home or to the Luga who change it to something else. Right. It, it, but it, it, as soon as you be like, yeah, that's right, that's right, uh huh, uh-huh, sure, that's right, uh huh, uh huh. He get to acting real white when he fucking when you, <laughs> when, you, when, you when you dispute some shit. You're part of the problem. <laughs> I am. I know I am. <laughs> but at the same time, because again, eventually I conformed. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. I, I, I stopped trying to be a salmon and swim against the stream. I just yeah. fucking turned into what I despised. And then again, that, at, but as I got older, I was like, fuck this shit. Like, I'm going back to me. Yeah. And, and, you know, and once you got out of those environments, right, where, you know, you're a large congregation of people in high school or junior high and all those things, yeah. you can be like, okay, I don't have to fucking do no, this No bullshit, anymore. Mac. You still turn it back on when you get around there. You know you do. Because it's hard not to. It's hard, it's, hard to, it's hard to be ridiculed by your own people for doing something that you feel is naturally right. It's hard to be in that position and then still go against it, even though you know that those people are going to be judging you on, a, on some complete bullshit. It's not even a real judgment. It's, it's some, some fucking perverted, uh, skewed paradigm of an idea of a, what, we, what we're, like a shell of what we're supposed to be. Like a Peter Pan syndrome, like we just don't want to grow up. Um, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. But so maybe no. But so for me, I'm. I think maybe now no, because again, at the school, I'm telling motherfuckers like, bruh, 
I got a belt for you, bro. If you need it, man, like you can pull your shit up. Like and again, let's let's folk like you get put your phone down. Like my, this one dude, we we're on a road trip. He in the back of the thing because he ain't driving on his phone. He's getting. We're all getting information given to us, right? And he's back there doing some. And, other and, shit. He, and then once he gets in the seat, he has no fucking clue what's going on. And he's like, "Where you been, bro?" And I, as soon as he came back after his turn, I was like, "Listen, bro, you gonna have to put that phone down, man. Like we're for real, like because." you're going to end up killing somebody on this road because you're not really about this. You're not mm -hmm. paying attention yeah. like you need to with the shit that we're trying to learn in this bitch right now. And then it's evident when you get in this seat. And then you want to argue with this nigga, the instructor, like you right. Come on, man. Okay, you, hold on, man. So, so what you're doing now, though, I don't think this is the same topic. And I want, I, want to, I want to caution you for what you just did because that's something that I think everybody does. I, I don't think... I don't think there's a race that pays attention more than other races. So that's something that you're just conflating in. I do think that there are some times when <clears throat> black this nigga's chatting. He's chatting hoes in the back seat. Yeah, but white people <laughs> chat people too, and they don't, don't pay attention. So I, I want you to make sure that you're still being strict on yourself right. about what you're generalizing and 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 what's an actual thing. You right. know what I mean? Well, I, well, I was just saying more to not the fact pulling that your pants up and yeah. and being at class. Now, see, that's something different. I don't think white people really do that. And I think what I was saying for me is that I'm willing to. Correct the 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 things that I think are different now okay. amongst us that we're we're fucking up. Where okay. before I may not have been. Because that dude may not just because he's on his phone right. doesn't mean he'll fuck your wife. Right, right, that's true. Or and lots friends, of white people fuck people's wives. They do. No, yeah. that's for that's for sure. I I, I know a motherfucker that sued. There are certain states you know you can sue a nigga for doing that. Sure, you can sue him. You can sue him here. You In might, Minnesota, you can go to jail. See, uh, see, it's on the books probably still. Adultery is probably illegal. Yeah, you can so, you can sue. But you're not saying that you think black people are monolith though. Oh my God, he had to say a buzzword. I don't know why I'm so like That's buzz, a buzzword now. Buzz, buzz. You know, you know how many times I heard black people are not a monolith while they're about to say some monolith. Oh, I usually shit. hear that for like women. <laughs> I, oh. When you're talking about, hoes. it's not your fault, French. It's just these these fucking buzzwords that go around the black community, just so annoying. Right. Where everybody starts saying it, you don't even realize they're coming out of your mouth. You're like, oh man. But I digress. <laughs> Fuck out of here, <laughs> dumb smart um, niggas. So. To answer your question, I don't even know what you're talking about. So do you like, think, like... like What does that mean? Black people are not a monolith. Right. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Can you break that down in the he layman means, terms? He means that black people don't have one mind, one thought. Like, we're not all thinking the same thing. We no, don't have the same course, opinion. Of course not. Of course, There's, not. of course not. There's not any of any all thing that's all one way. So that's, that's... No. I would say, of course not. But I would say the... Like, you talked about the minority being the loudest... I don't believe that that's the minority. I believe that they're the loudest. And then again, when you're the loudest, you get the most attention. So then if if there is just a casual observer, right? You got a young person who is just casually observing. And again, we're going back to wanting to fit in. And this looks like the majority, regardless of what percentage it actually is, there becomes the problem, right? Because this is what you aspire to down fit into or acclimate yourself to is this, because this is what you see Everywhere you go, regardless of what the actual percentage of it is, mm -hmm. this is what you're seeing everywhere you go on TV, phones, videos, songs, all this other shit. And look, and and honestly, for to French's point, it's your point, but I think French is disillusioned by this. So French is like, well, I think the majority is the other thing, right? Which could be possible if you curate the places that you're going, right? So if yeah, you don't if, if you don't go to the hood club ever, you'll never see a hood person at a club, maybe one or two. If you go to only upscale mixers as opposed to club, yeah. if you go to upscale mixers where people are just networking, there's a different kind of person there. And if that's, if that's where only places you're going, then you're like, oh man, no, black people are got it together, yeah, and, man. And I think that's probably my problem because I'm like, yo, more, that's not a problem. No, I, no, I think that's, that's probably where I'm coming from because I was like, yo, majority of the black people I know and the black, kids my age group like they all not living that life they're not they they are law-abiding citizens living a great life like a model went exemplary. to college you yeah, that's where some, you've even met some them? i have some friends that didn't go to college but they 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 still had a plan so they're still doing great things but i i also think it's but like what be honest was saying like it's probably because i i only move around those circles right so, which is what I think all of us have have begun to do. Yeah, for sure. But that's part of the problem. That's what I'm saying. So, like now, it's like <laughs> moving out of the hood, right? Exactly. And, and then exactly. you're like, oh, you a sellout. You, you know, I mean, you ain't, you don't, you ain't, you don't come around no more. You ain't, you had to move over to uppity, the suburbs. You an right. uppity nigga, right? But and I don't like uppity nigga, right? Who does? Nobody, right? But you are one, a little bit. But but I'm saying you said you didn't like them. Get off my lawn. So look how that look how that feels, right? 
I just said <laughs> nobody likes uppity niggas and you agreed. But then when I said you were uppity niggas, you, you had to accept that you're kind of one of them. So now, what does that mean? You will have to walk around hating yourself a little bit. Mm. No, don't don't take it back now. I, 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 I got the honesty yeah. out. Don't don't get rid of the honesty. Yeah, because I said nobody likes an uppity nigga and everybody agreed. Well, um, Pac didn't. I was about to say, I didn't say anything. <laughs> but everybody, your face agreed. Yeah. He said it. He, ex he expressed it. I verbally said it. The point is, I'm trying to make is, you cannot hate uppity niggas and also know that you're a little bit of an uppity nigga and not hate yourself a little bit. But again, I think I hate them hood niggas more. I think I hate mm -hmm. the hood niggas more than I hate the uppity nigga because I understand the uppity nigga cannot succeed in that environment. Mm -hmm. I think that, 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 that you, you have no choice. You have to separate yourself from fucking that mindset and that environment or it's going to drag you down. I think Be Honest was right. Uh oh, what? smart. About the the whole, like, the classroom with the three niggas, that's really the, the the ones that are, like, the hood niggas or whatnot. And then the other 14 that don't say anything that, like, basically allow the behavior sort of thing. I think it's like that in the community-wide scale. Like, yep. if you go to the hood, that's what it is. It's really just a group of niggas that are really the hood niggas doing that shit. Right. And you got way more people that live there that aren't doing that type right. of shit or whatnot. But because of that whole culture thing, yep. that toxic culture we have, we don't say shit like we should or go against the niggas that are doing the shit that are making the hood like what it is. But let's, shit. let's talk about that's outside the classroom. we add fear into play and all those other things. Right. Well, let's talk about lunch though, right? So at lunch, so the 14 that don't say nothing because they know better and want to do better, they still hang at lunch all together. Right. All of these motherfuckers is still that same pack, right? Mm -hmm. And so you still got the three that are fucking joking and laughing and doing, you know, and... Well, the three from and, that class and, well, the, and the right. three from that class and the two from that class, they all meet for lunch, yeah. Well, but no, but then you still got the ones that... And they haven't said anything right. because again, I still part of the same crew. Right? They still they still hang out together. Yeah. They just know that I'm not I'm not gonna do that in class. I know that I'm trying to do something else, and I know that maybe if I do, my fucking ass will get whooped up when I get home. Maybe right. maybe I got some kind of structure at home that fucking is gonna con have consequences where this motherfucker is is got lives from a house that there ain't no consequences. Don't nobody give a fuck how they act in, mm -hmm. in school. So, but we still cool. I'm not going to not be their friend. But guess what happens if you ever say anything against it or you start acting uppity or you start oh, yeah. doing the right things? Now they're going to they're going to uh, ostracize you. Oh yeah. They're going to they're going to look at you as even worse than the white people. Right. And that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. They're going to make you feel worse than being a corny ass white person. I'm not saying that white people are corny. I'm saying that's yeah. what that's what they're going to say. And they're going to make you feel even cornier than that. So you're really trapped in the foolishness. I do want to add though that um Pac actually said, I agree with Be Honest, and you did not have a negative reaction to it. I think it's just a problem you have with That's like one versus a million. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, come on, man. We That's one time versus five years. Yeah. Like, <laughs> of riding. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> So, so I, that may be very genuine. Right, I've seen his. Been That's just, another thing with black people, man. The moment you show some love, you dick riding. <laughs> That's right. No, but for real though, <laughs> let let you stand up and, and at one, be one of the fourteen and have the nerve to stand up against one of those three and be like, "Yes, calm that Bro, down. I'm trying to learn something here." You're gonna get punished worse than the white people. Oh yeah, and that's why it's it's there's this circle and it just it just keeps going and it keeps perpetuating itself and nobody's gonna say anything because who wants to be ridiculed worse than the than the white person? Because we still also feel like black people are a little cooler than white people, so you don't want to get put mm -hmm. like the little the little bit of coolness you have. You don't want to get rid of that because right. like you. You want to walk and have the swagger of a, a black kid, you know what I'm saying? But don't challenge what the quote unquote black kids act like because now you're worse than the white people. Yeah, no, no doubt. And, and you're I, getting your trumpet hit over your head. Right, you exactly. You'll get bleak gilliam <laughs> exactly. like a Mobetta Blues. They're going to Mobetta Blues your ass. And so I think it's about experiences for me. And that's what I, I, I was thinking about it because when these motherfuckers fucked me up this weekend, right, at a Friday, when they. Didn't show up, so right. I'm, I'm there to take my test, and they don't even have a fucking truck available. Right. And then I call the the black tr the yard manager, yeah. and his first thing out of his mouth is on some lie shit, right? Like, <laughs> it, oh, you know, and, and it's just like, come on, man. Like, this is the most nigga shit that I've seen, and it's a problem. And it's, it's, it's systemic around everybody in this little organization is all black. And everybody there, all the students be saying the same shit. If we was at a white school, 
we would be getting taught differently and we would have a different we would have a different experience so it's not just me that feels this way right we feel like when we're dealing with i think sometimes when black people deal with other black people they feel like they can treat them less than if they are treating or dealing with someone else yeah and the like, lack of service is gone like they they, right. they they i can treat a black person less than I would treat a white customer because I think the white customer is going to demand. I know that. I feel like they're going to demand uh, mm-hmm. a better experience. Yeah. So, therefore, I have to make sure that I, I give that. Um, but, nah, this black dude, he probably used to being, you know, some nigga shit. You so know, let me whatever. Ask you, let me ask you guys because y'all are both from, well, I guess French can do too. Have 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 you experienced different a different type of customer service in Atlanta than you did back home? Or? Hell yeah! No, Atlanta customer service oh, yeah. is trash. So I just, I just today, man. You know, I was when I especially came, the restaurant. When I came back from Mexico, I was talking about how the restaurants were so much better. The the service there was so much better. There's a guy Keith Lee or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. He's did been, you see that? Yeah, he's been giving the city a problem. yeah. He was on but the, he, but he that's was on the right. news and everything. But but the restaurant scene. I didn't to understand. Me. I saw something about it, but I didn't understand what it was about. He's basically Come. going around the country and just like reviewing restaurants. And he's like a famous TikToker because of okay. that. Right. He, so he became famous doing. When this. he reviews your restaurant, it kind of helps your business in a sense, right? Because people are going to go for go. if it's a good review. Yeah. But he came to Atlanta and was just giving sta- scathing comments about customers. Like there are so many rules here. Like you, not only that, nobody start, can get order until everybody's sitting down at the table. Milk and Honey and, does that. Yeah. yeah, and like you can't. Um, that's the one I saw. Milk and Honey does that. Though. That's that thing. But that's stupid. It's I always thought that. But. And there are a lot of restaurants that don't let you sit until your entire party is there. Yeah. Here in Atlanta, and that's stupid. But Milk and Honey don't even let you change your order. If you want your eggs this way, they don't even let you do that. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. But <laughs> so apparently, maybe it's just Atlanta, and maybe some of the shit that you're experiencing is not is not just black, but it's black and South. Maybe. And maybe just in yeah. Atlanta, well, it's just like that. I yeah. mean, the shit that was happening, you know, to me growing up, that was in Cali. Oh yeah, well, yeah that is- you know what I mean. So, <laughs> so, so, and and I think too, like I remember when I went to uh, Ti's. Restaurant and no, I complained come, about that how how trash that experience there was. There is the name of a rapper with a good restaurant. Ludacris restaurant in the airport's not that bad. What's the name of it? I forgot the name. It's an airport restaurant. I mean, it's that, chicken, it's that chicken and beer joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. And the service is, is up to bar. It's in a, That's it's one. in it's an airport, right? An airport is is not it's it's you got Everybody coming in, right? right? All kind of nationality. You're gonna have to be. You can't be on yeah, some you nigga can't shit. Be, you can't be a black restaurant. You yeah, can't be on yeah. some like nigga yeah, shit. Yeah, in the right airport, now. you're not doing that. But if it's over in, you know, whatever. Shit, Ti restaurant was in Midtown. What's her name? And, and the, the, trash. The, 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 we the almost singer, got it. The famous you know, singer. She got the restaurant. The Old lady, lady gang. The lady. Um, Gladys, Gladys Knight. Knight. Yeah, her that shit, shit wasn't was great. Bad. They closed that motherfucker down. Yeah, they did. It was having yeah, health problems. Health problems. Mm. They was and that damn. was downtown. So do, you, yeah. do you think the reason why we can also we cannot have great businesses is because of the lack of knowledge we started talking about? So we don't even no. have the proper fundamentals to create yes. proper business strategies. Yes. Well, I can tell you right now, the dude who manages the yard where I'm going to school at, he don't got no proper management training. I guarantee that. That's okay. that, 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 that's a, that's clear. So he was a driver that got promoted. I, 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 I yeah, be thinking something. that's the thing too, and I also feel sometimes when black people get up, like they become well, he, he it's walks, like there's something happens when they when they it's come a power up. Thing, right? Yeah, it's like now they it's like now I gotta fuck everybody else over because I got fucked over in my come. Well, up. I don't even know if it's this right. So this is the thing with him, this motherfucker, right? Like he he's one of these people that thinks like if I tell someone to do something, then I've done my job. Not oh, as a manager, no, you have not. Yeah, you know, there yeah. has to be some sort of follow up, right? right? And then and then if it doesn't come through, and if it, you're people that he's can't a provide, boss. he's not a leader. It's, it's on you. To, it, it comes back to you, my guy. So if, if there's no one to drive a truck at 6 o'clock in the morning, then that's going to be you yeah. in your ass. You're driving the truck. Right. You're, right. you're ass in the truck driving it. You can't be here, putting that shit off on the way. Oh, well, they did this and X, Y, Z. Bad Here's leadership. the rebuttal that I hate. Here's the rebuttal I hate. Um, the one where they say, oh, well, you would give a white restaurant a second chance if they did something wrong to your eggs, or you yeah, would, you would give a white that. restaurant that just started a second Like, what the fuck kind of uh, standard is that? Like, oh, well, you would give somebody else a second chance if they messed up your order. What I'm saying is don't mess up my order. Right. And if you do mess up my order, make it right. Just make it right. Make it right. Tell me, tell me how sorry you are that you messed it up and make it right. I think that's the problem, right? And the white restaurant does that. 
I think that's the problem. Mm-hmm. Is that I think that we we have a problem saying sorry, yeah, especially to each other. It's like you know, to each o- other. O- own up to the shit, right? right. And you, if you fucked up, then like, because again, like when I confronted him at the yard, all he had for me was excuses and right. blaming on and the lies, uh, and, shit, and, yeah. lies and blaming it on this girl that oh she don't work. Listen, I don't give a fuck about her job or none of this. I see you, my nigga. Right, like you're the one talking to me right now, and it's your and you run this bitch, right? This is <laughs> right. on you. This is right. your thing. So there's no way that I should be calling you at eight and you don't know at eight o'clock that shit's already fucked up you should have known this shit at five something right whether or not she was not a you know she no called no showed on your ass because you should have been but calling I, i'm quite sure that if he had just said oh man i apologize right i wasn't aware let me do some call make some calls i'm gonna call you back in within 20 minutes Whatever information I get, I'm gonna call you back in 20 minutes. He started off that way at, at 8.755. He's gonna call me back. He never called me back. Of course. I had to I had to track him down at the yard. Yeah. And then and then that's my point. Like again, this is this is you you guys are on some bullshit. Yeah. And I don't think that again. You've been I, a manager before. Right. So you know how difficult it is to to lead people. Yes. But if there were ever a mistake that you made, and you know you made the mistake, for sure, whether it was small or it was big, the very first thing you do is you fix, it's on the, me, you right. fix the customer. Right, you fix the customer. Fix the customer, and then you work on the other shit. Yep. And I know Pac knows this too, that we all worked in the same place. Right. Fix the customer first, then you fix the problem. Right. So if you call me at 8 o'clock and I got some shit that's wrong, I already know, I, I already know that I don't know what you're talking about. Right. Which is my fault because I'm the manager. Thank so you. So the very first thing I need to do is I need to clear the air. Oh, I, uh, Mac, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't even realize this was going on. This is totally on me. Let me figure out what's going on. Give me 20 minutes. I'm going to make some calls, and then I'll call you back. And then you can now go do your due diligence, and you figure out what the problem is. But regardless of what, in 20 minutes, I'm going to give you a call back right. because I told you I was going to. Right. And that's part of my integrity is that I'm going to get back in touch with you. Right. And I think, again— I think that would have made you feel better. For sure. Yeah. Again, own, own your shit, right? And I was telling motherfuckers when I was talking about it, I was like, this is the shit I'm trying to, you know, teach and instill in my son. It's like, if you make a mistake, everybody makes a mistake. Right, yeah. But don't try to fucking cover it up with lies. Don't try to fucking blame other people and, and make it someone else's fault. If right. you fucked up, say you fucked up. Say what you're gonna do to fix it, right? If you can, if you don't know, figure it out. But the, you, you don't fucking pass and, the buck and, and kick that shit down the road, like unless oh. you're on your final warning, <laughs> yeah, right? And then lie your, <laughs> and then lie your ass off. <laughs> fuck Jamie Mack. If, if I'm on my final warning, Facts. fuck Jamie Mack and his feelings. I'm trying to make sure I got a job tomorrow. <laughs> um, I was there was a I, I forgot where I, where I saw it at, but it was a nigga talking about like the same shit you talking about. But he said the problem he blamed it on on single motherhood. Because we, because of the cycle of single motherhood in the black community, we never s- watch people be accountable for their actions. So, because when you said like we have this problem of not saying sorry to each other, right? So, like we've always seen people finesse when they're it's out there for whether they got caught red handed by the cops, whatever it is. Like we always like the cycle we just watches find a way to finesse and finesse, so it creates this thing within the culture. Where we don't apologize. So let me ask you this as a, you know, because you first said that you don't think there's a lot of absentee fathers earlier, but I'm not getting into that part. I never said that. I said the the negative um, mindset about if you talk proper, you, you, you corny and shit like that. All right. So that was even my point, though. So let me tell you this, though. So the, the point of um, single parents, like how many single black moms do you think blame the dude? Um, as opposed to them them being a the reason why they don't got to do. Majority of them probably blames the dude. I well, never discuss that. I never disagree with that. Yeah, no, I'm not. This is not. We're not. Uh, I'm not trying to. I mean, yeah. see again. You, this is. This is. This is. We don't have to I, always be combative. I think that um, there is definitely the need, and this is sad. I hate having to even say this, and I know my my wife and other women are gonna hate that I'm saying this, but we really need some women to be completely transparent and honest about their ability to be accountable because I think that there is a real big problem with dudes not thinking that that women are accountable or are willing to be accountable for anything and I need to see some examples I would like for I would like for there to start be like the new challenge accountability challenge I would love for women to come on Instagram and start showing how they're accountable to things like a situation that happens they bring it on Instagram and they say and here's how I'm accountable blah 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 and explain it out because there's a real big disconnect between men and women and this accountability thing. and they'll say that we're not accountable because we'll lie when we well, get but the problem is we the problem with guys is we don't have a choice because yeah, life, makes right. us accountable life is no gonna fuck what. us up accountability wise but right. you know and so I I think that there 
we gotta we gotta have some examples, man. I know that sucks. I know women are hating me right now. We gotta start seeing some examples. Like be uh, be uh, be like completely forthright. Be completely honest. Be completely like I, I don't even care if you if you if you uh, it's like. Um, I don't know the like you're forcing it. Right. I don't care. Just show us some evidence. Show us the 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 receipt so that we can stop saying this because I don't want to say this no more. Right. I would love to see this. I am yeah, so yeah. on that right now. Bro. Well, the like, only the only accountability the, challenge. The, the lack of accountability is just rampant. And then you know what it is though. You know you know <laughs> why I think rampant. it's it's that rampant. I don't even think they are aware because they kind of grow up with this delusion. Oh, bro, I was just so, about to say so, it's no, borderline delusional. Remember, like a couple podcasts ago, when I said I actually when 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 y'all thought I said they got to stay in the kitchen. That's not what I was trying to say. Though. What I was trying to say, they talk all this independent stuff, but what they really want is somebody to really take care of them. So they start to create this delusion. With whatever they want or desire They say they want a man with money But they get mad once they get a man with money But that nigga's always busy because he gotta work It's like they don't understand that They if give and take about shit So it's like now. it creates this delusion It creates this like delusion that they like Completely create and grow up in So they can never be accountable Because when this shit happens It's like oh it's not supposed to be this way So they can't even figure out the space to be accountable Like today there's this um, ex NBA player that used to play for the Warriors, Joe whatever Smith, I think. What do you mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa! First of all, you're not gonna disrespect Joe Smith like that. Like, oh, I wasn't trying to disrespect. But him. but you said it as if nobody would know who he was, right? right? Oh, my bad. Who in this room doesn't know who Joe Smith was is, or especially who he was? At let's say Maryland. Well, see, for, for Reggie is in his you know twenty he's, something years. Like no, but I know Joe 30, Smith. He used to play for the Warriors. But you said there was this this, this like, guy, like, this 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 random dude. Like what? No, we're talking about Joe Smith. Go right. ahead, Joe Smith. His wife. Uh, his, his wife. Um, I guess created OnlyFans and he didn't know about it right. and he found out. Right. And she, while he's talking to her about like, yo, why didn't you tell me? Why, what the hell are you doing? She's like, I'm she telling you now. Yeah, and she started recording him. And I'm like, first of all, what the fuck? That's supposed to be y'all business. You don't have to record. He found out and she's like, I'm telling you now. No, you're not telling me. I found out and I'm coming, I'm attacking you about it. So you didn't. No accountability. Yeah, but th this is, this is, I know it's fucking delusion because she said, you knew how I was back then because apparently she used to be a porn star. So she did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she used the VCR days. You can't really even find it like that. Um, <laughs> What's her name? Right, I, forget, I don't know. Her I, bet it's, name. I bet she yelled spank bang. <laughs> <laughs> spank bang probably definitely have it. But um, so and when he was telling her that, she said, "But she knew how I was when you got when you met me." And then that's the part that confused me. But I was like, "But when I bet you that time when you when you guys met each other, you was trying to get off that life. You was trying to become somebody new. Yeah. You, and made, you probably you made did some change. assurances and some promises. You probably <laughs> did do some changing, which is which is probably why he ended up falling in love and marrying you. So that's but that's why I'm saying like they don't even want to take accountability because like because they'll be the same one to say, "Don't judge me for my past." Or why are you insecure because I have a past? Uh, but I mean, now you you see what? But what's now crazy about that. Video? I feel like I feel but like now that you she... mad at me. Because I didn't judge you from your past, and now you did something because I decided not to judge you from your past, and now you're slapping it on my face. That's the delusion I'm talking about. Uh, in my in this case, I just think the delusion is the fact that I believed in order to get that money from this motherfucker, she made promises right. and, and assurances, and that's why he didn't know about it. Because if it was just this is how I am, she would have told him from jump like this is what no I want to do. And she just started. You know it's saying? like I guess it was recent. Like, you I can't guess. start no OnlyFans without talking to me. Yeah. Right, Come on. you know what I mean. She, like, I mean, she you, made it seem like I guess because I don't know if he's tight for money or anything, but he, she made it. She tried to act. His, she tried. She tried him on like the providing aspect. She's like, well, right. I needed things, um, and things like that. Why she made it, but I don't know, man. It's just for me, it's the delusion that creates the ability to not have a. a, a for me, it just seems like there's a lot of females out there that are just like two faced when it comes to things, or just like one way. It's just like one way. It's like if they do whatever, it, there's a reason for it, right. or there's an explanation. Right, right. Of and you why, need to hear the experience. You know what I mean? That's what I can't. St I cannot stand that. Oh, I need to explain this. I don't need you to explain it. Yeah. I don't need you to explain this. The very last thing that happened in that video with Joe Smith and his wife was she looked at the camera after he walked out and said whatever, and then cut it off. It's like, uh, sorry, I was, I was about to call his wife out her name, but um, <laughs> right, because I would have called her that if it was my wife and it was we were in that situation. Whatever, like, so basically, you're telling me is. You, I knew who you were before we met. Uh, evidence one. Number two was, uh, I, you, I got many things going. You, you know, I need help with some, some. You're not giving me that help, so I had to get it on my own. Evidence two and three. You're saying uh, you're learning. I'm letting you know now. After I've caught you and I'm challenging you, that's not you on letting it. me know. You're right. And then four is when I get done and walk out of the room because you're recording me. 
I'm leaving and getting out of this space. We can talk about it later. You look at the camera and say whatever and stop it as if it didn't matter that I was upset. It didn't yeah. matter that I was challenging right. you on this. It didn't matter that you didn't tell me. Right. It didn't, none of that mattered. What mattered was you need to save face. And because you recorded me, now you have to, you have to end it with something that puts things back, the power back in your favor. I just like, yeah. Yeah. Come on. That, yeah. That, that, yeah, get the fuck on with yeah, that. Yeah, and, and I think... Well, that's what they talk about with the song. You can't make a hoe a and, housewife. And I think with this era of social media, that that whatever dopamine rush to get from attention, men cannot compete with that no more. That Because, like, her recording this this moment was... You know, this is all an attention-seeking aspect. Like, like, like... No, I think she really believed that everybody was going to have her side. I think that this was this was her she, delusion again. Yeah, it goes I think, back I, to delusion. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. For rational thinking, yes, it's delusion. But the thing is, is that there are people out here who support her delusion. Right, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. That she she has, knew she was cause, wrong because a yeah. dude's going to tell her whatever she want to hear because he want to keep seeing her take her shit off. Right. Yeah. He ain't going to tell her like, no, nah, you need to do right by your husband and turn this shit off. Like, no, nah, fuck no. You gonna hey, look, fuck she that was, nigga. Take was, your shit off. She was looking you know for I mean? her tribe. <laughs> she made that video looking for her tribe to, to support her and stand yeah. up for her and be like, fuck that nigga. It's your she said my body, body my body, yeah, body yeah, yeah. Fuck that yes, nigga He yes. can't tell you What to do with your body Bitch abortion. Fuck that nigga <laughs> Yeah right So it's like Come on man Yeah that, that's not gonna work I would love The accountability challenge To start I, I'm, I'm offering it to you Ladies right now Please go, I, I, go do I it I think somebody did try it um, para, um, It didn't Paris, work Tyree's um, ex-wife Yeah Cause she came out I guess they got divorced And then she came out The other day and said that Yeah I regret doing that I was just listening To my single friends Yeah And but did she put hashtag accountability challenge? No, nah, nah. I need I need to see ha- hashtag accountability. But I was surprised right. she told the truth. I was like, damn! Hey, she came out and really said it. She said she was listening to her hey and ass single friends, cause to get divorced. I'm gonna title this show hashtag accountability challenge just so that <laughs> it perhaps it starts just somebody so it trends. So yeah, just so it's there and you see it, and you know it's it's an obvious thing because we I would a oh, man I would love I would I would love, love it. it I would love I would to see love something it. like that just just for the fact that I think it'll never ever happen it, never <laughs> I mean not 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 in the way that I think we're looking for because again I think if you if you and for the single moms that I've seen right it's always he ain't shit, right? Like, the reason why we not together is because he ain't shit. I'm like, not talking about single moms. And I'm just talking... I'm just there, talking there, there's like, a lack of accountability <laughs> there, too, because right. your I'm ass did about, something, too. I'm talking right. about the entirety. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm talking about it. Look, I'm talking about like you talking. I'm talking about the entirety. Right. I know my wife is going to be mad at that's, me. That's, that's a, a genre. <laughs> but again, if you... It, 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 but again, it goes back to French Reggie talking about what what young men or young boys are watching growing up, right? So if you are growing up with this mentality um, and this is what you're seeing, right, is your mom not have any accountability for what the fuck she ain't doing and why she couldn't keep your, your daddy right. around or whatever the fuck happened in that relationship that what she didn't do, she just puts all of the blame on him. Yeah. And, you know, then that then is just the easy you see Passing a buck. This is what goes. And then again, most of her friends are probably going to be her tribe, which are going to be like, yeah, girl, he ain't shit. I see him now. He got another girl, you know, and he he taking care of that baby. Well, then again, if that's the Why case. Why is he taking care of that baby? <laughs> right. <laughs> that's the real question. Right. Why is he taking care? Because niggas ain't shit. Right. That's why he's taking care of that baby, because niggas ain't shit. You really believe that a dude who'll be willing to take care of a baby. Right. But not your baby is because he's just a piece of shit. He's not a piece of shit to that baby. Right. So then what are we talking about? And exactly. You, you know how. We, I know we are completely correct in this, how they Uh-oh. really take accountability. Uh-oh, high take. Because lesbian marriage stats and divorce stats tells you that they have an account- accountability problem. Okay, I'm okay. interested. Let's see. I could not resist. So Ooh, I that's to clear. Up. From the Office of National Statistics, from a 2019 study, in ever-increasing numbers, we are now at a lesbian divorce rate of 72%. Woo! So the top four reasons that they are reporting getting divorced is feeling ignored, inequality in the partnership, adultery, and domestic violence. Woo! Personally, I feel like this lends some weight to men's arguments and complaints about how women are behaving in relationships. Woo! Because when you have lesbian statistic, lesbian divorce statistics that look like that, the girls are kind of telling on themselves. Woo! Woo! Straight, like, like that's what it is, bro. Cause, like, ooh, that was hot. Cause, cause, <laughs> that was a hot take, French. <laughs> cause, it, cause, it, cause, sometimes you you just gotta like observe, like, woo, and then just be like, yo, there's a delusion going on that they're not even aware of, right? Like, you 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 playing yourself, and 
That's those are damning stats. Yeah. Seventy three percent divorce rate. And the reasons, right? The reasons. The, the, reasons. the, the, it's the reasons. same shit we the hear reasons. all the time. Yeah. I'm not happy. You're like, not paying me enough attention. <laughs> Domestic abuse is a weird one, but I've, <laughs> I've seen some mean. some some bull dykes be like, "Oh yeah, yo, you are." You're one step away from abuse in front of everybody. Like, right. They don't care. Come like, here. And I feel like it's even easier because it's girl on girl. Yeah, yeah nobody, sure. nobody's yeah. coming to your. Yeah, nobody's yeah. coming to save you if you're a if you're in a lesbian relationship. Like fight that bitch. That's what they gonna say. Yeah. Shit, fight that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> but that's crazy. Like so, seven damn seven out of ten new lesbian marriages are done. Pretty much. That's wild, man. That's woo. crazy. Yeah. That's why I can do a little woo. Yeah, that's all I could do. Well, but look, I, look, I guess you can understand when you got delusion coming from both sides. Like, that's what I'm right. saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but hey, I do want to um, say good job on that clarity on that, man, that, that was, video. Like, everybody's gonna love that. Yeah, yeah that they shit, were like, "Oh that my shit god, was crispy, yo!" And especially with that hot sizzling tank, that was that was that was on point. I'm glad. Imagine was- if they hadn't heard that because of your impossibility at tank. <laughs> We would have lost all that hot take. That was a that was a, a good one. Good shit though. Oh boy, um, I'm ready to talk about a little something different real quick yeah, though yeah, because yeah. I, I I'm and it's kind of similar, right? Because with you know everything that's going on, I, I was just thinking about it. It's like, is it impossible to be indoctrinated into something? And and I mean everybody to we, not be or to, to not be okay in, in 2023. Like I think like. Because I was talking to somebody about this and, and, you know, everything has its own where they're coming at us at an early age. Even when we were, you know, Pledge of Allegiance, right? Mm-hmm. And you had to sit there and, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I mean, that was a form of indoctrination, right? right. Like there, 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 there was no way. And that was even before social media. But now with social media, there's, all, there's a group or there's a cause, there's a something for everybody, right? And, and it's going to teach you that way. Right, whatever it is, whether you want to be bi transgender, whatever the fuck it is, whether you want to be, you know, militant or you want to be fucking, you know, pro Israel or you want to be pro Nazi, whatever it is, you can from an early age have access to this shit and 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 a lot of it. Yeah. And 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 from all different you know angles, whether it's on your phone, your computer, your television, um, your church. So I mean I just feel like there's no there's no neutral. Everybody's indoctrinated to at at some point in in some way. Like we to say that we're not indoctrinated or you're not as an individual, I think you're probably being you're fooling yourself because there's something that you have been indoctrinated in. Whether it's the black culture, whether it's the anti-black culture, whether it's um you know because there's like so for instance, I'll give you an example. My son is anti rap and, and hood shit. Like anything that is like like that is like <laughs> semi hood sounding, right? right. Or, or or affiliated, right? Like it could be Man. anything. That means he, he don't he, like Tupac. He he nah he don't fuck who, with who really. likes Tupac. Come on, stop. stop. Okay. We're not doing that. Okay. So <laughs> so, he, that so, no, so the, the old the old shit, some of the old shit I have I've been able to get him because I'm like, listen, what you're what you're <laughs> experiencing. He, he for it. No, because again, like Slick Rick, I, I, he he fucks with Slick Rick. <laughs> Slick Rick. So, so, uh, Slick fucking Rick is, Asian. No, no, but Slick so Rick's not violent. He's but more again, like so again, it, 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 but Slick Rick was a criminal. But Slick Rick is different <laughs> rap wise than what than what it is. Dana Dane, like the storytelling rap. My nigga, can you get can you get some rappers that are still rapping? No, because no, no. Them niggas is rapping about the shit he ain't trying to hear. Right? No, there's yeah. some good rappers out. So you you don't you listen like Kendrick? J Cole is J. Cole. rapping positive shit, or not necessarily positive, but he's not rapping negative shit. He's not but rapping think, hood shit. And yeah. what, I, what I think is that he sounds too much like what everybody else is doing out, and maybe not lyrically, right? Yeah. But the the sound and everything else that it's it's. Here's a it's, little story not fun ago. There we go. So who's like, like, what's his, what, <laughs> so he, who are the rappers he doesn't He doesn't to? listen to rap at he all. He listen to what, Afrobeats? No, 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 Uzi no, Vert? No, 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 fuck. No, Rich <laughs> Homie Kwan? So what does he listen to? So it's it's a lot of, uh, uh, like, BPM, like the, oh, the okay. high, the BPM fucking. BPM is like speed. So he's yeah. listening to beats mostly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of that. You cannot get jiggy with this shit. <laughs> a lot of that shit, right? I can't get John Blaze with so this. So how do you feel like, how do you think he got indoctrinated to that? You, you, you're so, raising or? No, not me because that's, I don't listen to that shit, but it's, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> how are you just going to sit on that man's genre? I'm not. I just don't listen to. I don't listen okay, to that shit. Okay, I take that back. We did used to bump BPM when I had satellite radio. 
And okay. I used to listen to that channel, right? And it was, and I think there's an adrenaline thing, like a dopamine thing, like you can get into that type of shit that kind of gets you going, right? Whatever. The <laughs> no. Thing. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> what do you Call mean? his ass. No. Call him. What do you this is this is a Jay Smooth moment. <laughs> yeah. How Jay Smooth used to come here and say that dumb shit, like nigga, I've known you a lot of years. Yeah. Call him on this. The only way niggas was listening to that music is if they was rolling. Rolling what? Oh, so e. ecstasy. Oh, okay. Well, no, nah, man, because I've had, I've like French Reggie said it. There has been different times I've tried to exit the fucking the the hood group mentality, and I there was times where I ended up in the skater mentality a group. There's in it. There's times that I hung out with black fucking rockers and white. Well, what, rockers. What, what he what Pocket saying is that unless you were at a rave, I don't think you're just turning that shit on like to just hang to. No, is that what you're saying? No, but again, I think that there's a, a alternative, right? Like, so not to just jam to but to for me to give him something besides hardcore rap right we did listen to that so okay. maybe that's where he got and then and, and a lot of it starts with it, the video games like he the video games like soundtracks that are on video games a lot of it's like that yeah, and, and, he, and he just takes that and turns, well there's you know, that there's that you know now too because there's a lot of like you can youtube it and stuff like that and you right. can listen to that you know what i mean for and a lot of people in the newer generations do that kind of shit too so yeah. how do you think he got indoctrinated to to be th- that type to, of- to be anti because I think he was never hood right so I think he probably was you know when he got around it they got the you know Minimum ridiculing right yeah. ridiculing bullying and he's like listen the shit that you guys are talking about or you are making cool is dumb shit to me yeah. and I'm not and I don't and I, I just don't hey, fuck with that I always respected that about his son his son don't give a shit yeah. if he feels this way he runs with that shit yeah. like and you can't tell him shit and and it's like and and I'm I'm okay with that right like I'm like uh, you know I get it drove because he was you know drug dealing you know drugs dealing or using um fucking girls this you know that's all you do is talk about this that and the other it's like it seems repetitive and it seems mundane mm-hmm. like there's not a lot of depth to any of this shit right and so it just doesn't it was never anything that he kind of latched onto. where to me I, you know i'm you know I, I was different right like i i felt like you know they spoke to different shit especially again like when i grew up rap wasn't the same as rap like again there was a whole black movement right when you fucking had x clan and fucking public enemy and fucking um, native tongues, native tongues, and fucking um, jungle brothers, yeah, Bob Carr, Chris, right. De La Soul, right, and all of that, brand new right, the right. Right. development, right. right, right. There was there was there was a whole that that Try. you could you could get away from and have music that spoke to black Ness. uplift, yeah, and black uplifting. empowerment, yeah, right, and, and, and it wasn't just self destruction. You know, self destruction, whatever the fuck it was, you know, just you know, like, but the labels had to, you know. Build the prison system so they had to push gangster rap. You remember when they tried to make that we all in the same gang song? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all in the same gang. With Miss Yeah, hell no. Yeah, hell no. <laughs> that Easy. shit didn't work. That last nah. summer. Bro, that was the. That <laughs> hey, was let's the, take this shot to being in the same gang. That there was, you know. let's do it. That was the truce of nine deuce. Truce of nine deuce. You know what's crazy though? While y'all are shot, and I'm going to talk through it. What are y'all drinking to? Uh, all in the same gang. All in the same gang. Yeah. Um, what's funny about that though is that sadly, the people who are like your son end up being separatists as opposed to leaders. And that's yes. the problem. Yeah. They just say, fuck it. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't have nothing to do with it. And they just go their own direction. But that kind of that kind of segments them away from the culture and away from the people as opposed to if they would, if some kind of way we get those type of people to start being leaders, then we would, I think we would start seeing more black people, more people in our culture that are willing to like BPM or whatever the genre is or right. whatever the the uh the the um um interests are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we're I not agree. gonna get that though, because most times they're like, fuck it. I don't even want to deal with them three in the class. I'd rather just, you know what I'm saying, sit in the corner by myself. And as soon as this motherfucker's over, I'm leaving. I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to hang with y'all. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. how that I was feel. Him. That's how I feel about our current political state. I think whoever could be qualified to be a decent president just don't want to deal with all that bullshit. Like, and again, he's like, uh, now my family got to be tight-knit. I, oh, a tweet of me back in 2010 because I said, fuck fat bitches. Like, like you know, like... It's, and, and that's a yeah. whole nother indoctrination, right? Yeah, because, yeah. again, I never grew up with the mindset of 
Fucking fat bitches? No, 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 <laughs> that, 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 that happened. Uh, but and I'm it, proud of it. Yeah, yeah man, that's hey, how man. you practice. Yeah, I mean, listen, it is what it is. Like, everybody ain't nothing can, wrong with me. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with a little meat on the bone. They all can't be winners. Like, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not even saying that they're losers. Yeah, saying, yeah. I'm just saying. Ain't nothing wrong with a little meat on the bone. You're right. So my thing was, it's like, um, I never grew up with a any sort of type of political affiliation. Like, right. and kids now are already, you know, either red or blue. Like, the only the red or blue I knew was Crips and Bloods, right? And even then, I wasn't fucking with that shit, right? Right. But now, it's like, really, like, you were a Democrat. Or that's you, it. You, right. I just figured out. What's that? That's what, that's what you provided to your son. That right there. You being from Cali and not being a blue or red is the, the platform that he did what he did from. You being able to go against the grain and not be caught by that and fall into that right. showed leadership or separation. Right. So now he feels more comfortable. He feels empowered to do the same thing in on another, in a different place, different level, because he's seen you. I was trying to figure out where he get it from because, you know, uh, French is saying you like Tupac and he doesn't. Right. So, like, where where is that disconnect? Where is there a, where is there a place where you were able to show him that? That's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, for sure. That's because, it. Uh, and you move coasts. Yes, yeah, no doubt. And then, and it's funny because we talk about that too. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Look at you being a beacon of light and not even realizing Not it. even realizing it. You know what I mean? And Congratulations. <laughs> when a motherfucking told me all I could teach him was how to smoke weed. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's little, fucked little, up. Little, little, they know. That's right. hella fucked that, up. That person right? was trying to hurt your family. I already know that. But uh, Wow. <laughs> That that that's that really, tr- that, really sucks. Tr- that really upset me just then. Yeah, because I saw you trying to really hurt my feelings. No, nah, but it's worse than that. It's more sinister than that. I just they hurt that. That makes me sad, man. But oh well. Yeah, I'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Yeah. So yeah. Um. The, yeah. I just feel like everything is either or now, right? Like, and it's and it's not like you can kind of blend in, you know, or 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 think both ways, right? Like you can't say, oh, I agree with this motherfucker, like. um that's a Democratic, and he has this opinion. And then um, this one who's a Republican, and he has this opinion. And I agree with this motherfucker, but not this motherfucker. You know, it's like we, we're all in. Like the, the, the Democrats are all in on anything Democratic, right, in, or the, with the Democratic Party. And the Republicans the same way. It's like at some point we got to be bi- bipartisan, right? Like if we buy anything, like you Have can be, be, you can be, you can be by everything else in this fucking world, sexual. by sexual, by trans, you know, yeah. by gender, by all the fucking everything else, but you can't be bipartisan. It's either or. If you believe this party, like, uh, you know, if you're anti-abortion, then you got to be a Republican, right? Or if you fucking whatever the fuck, right? You're pro-choice, right. you got to be a Democrat, right? Your, just, your talking points have 100% to do with your party affiliation. Yeah, and it's just, to me, this is like, we are making us to where we're just locked into these different Monolithic? Indo- yeah, in, indoctrinations. And it's not just a black thing. It's just a, it's a whatever you're into thing, right? Like if you fucking, you know, it's just, you know. Oh, shit. You know what just popped in my head? We were talking about high school because that's where most of us got of our, got it, indoctrinated where we saw this happen right no talking about the three the three uh, ignorant ones and then the 14 that just sit there and kind of like pretend like it's okay because if they don't if they challenge that then they're not black too mm-hmm. right and the world's experiencing that you just called it the world is experiencing what we experienced in high school right you talking about as far as like the political shit just period yeah like you can't not fit in if you show that you don't fit oh, in yeah. you're gonna get ostracized yeah. and it's gonna be brutal right and lo- so like we we went through that our whole lives and now we're seeing it unfold in the in the the bigger picture yeah but that's yeah. like the Saturday night live skit with, with Chris Rock and um um I can't remember who, uh, uh and Dave Chappelle when uh when when Trump got elected the first time and they had and they had it where there was like the 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 watch party or whatever and all the white people were just so surprised that Hillary didn't win and them two were laughing the whole time because all the stuff they're talking about is the shit the black community has been going through forever. Oh, right. Yeah, right. yeah, that's, I remember that scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. Wow, that's crazy. That is what's going on because the 14 kids that are now talking is the rest of the world. Yeah. So, and, but just think about the indoctrination thing, right? Remember that video you sent about the the they had the little boys dressed in dresses. Yes. Oh man, yeah. That, the... that 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 was a problem, right? Like yeah. I remember, yeah. it, and I, it, and that's in school. Well, listen, right. let me let me paint the picture. So um, there was this video that I saw where a dad comes in, and um, uh, you can tell the video starts kind of in the middle. So I'm guessing what happened was he walked in. That's a ladybug. 
He walked in and um, he saw his son in a dress. The teachers are, are, are like kind of sitting around like a with a couple of dress. kids, and the, there's a maybe three or four kids. One of them is a girl. Two of them are girls, and two of them are boys. Two of the boys have on dresses though. Both of the boys are brown or black too. The white kid over there is like, I'm not putting that dumb shit on. Anyway. <laughs> So the dad comes in and he's verbally upset. He's like, yo, never, 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 ever, never, ever put my son in a dress. Never, ever, ne like never, never, like never, 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 right? Take that off right now. And so he's telling him to take off. So the kid looks confused as fuck and he walks up. She's like, well, let me help you with that. She's like, oh, this is the first time. He said it should be the last, right? But if you notice, there's another little kid there who doesn't belong to that dad. He snatches that dress off fast as fuck. Right. The idea here in my mind, what I saw from that is, Oh, so if this isn't evidence that this is all some follower shit, these people all to my, oh, I'm transgender, I'm, I'm, I don't know what my, gen, Z, Zim, 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 Zom, Zim, right. all that shit. If this is not evidence that that's all follower shit and it's not really that our kids are just um, becoming uh, more in touch with themselves, bullshit. It's absolutely a follower thing. These two little boys were in dresses in their kindergarten class or whatever right. grade it was. Yeah, it had to be like kindergarten and, right, or preschool. And the, the dad's kid, was hurt because his dad saw him that way and was mad. So he's taking the dress off. This other kid didn't have any reason to take that dress off, but he snatched that bitch off. off he didn't even need help. Right. He's like, no, it's coming over my head. Right. I don't right. give a fucking mess my hair up, whatever. I'm taking this shit off. Because he was like, yo, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. You snapped me back into reality. But I think the world is asleep like that kid. The world is just saying, you know what? I just, yeah, let me just throw this dress on. Why not? And then if somebody were to snap their ass awake, it would probably be the same thing. And, and back in the day, let's be clear. I, I had an episode like this with my kid. You oh, with my kid, right? What do you mean? So so um, you went to school and they had a no. Nope. Oh, so my 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 ex mother in law, she only had daughters, right? Oh she, shit. She and so she only. This is a this is a story that's been repeated a million times in black families. And bro. she only knew how to I guess handle daughters or whatever. And I came home and they had a wig on my yes. son. And I was like, "Fuck that!" Makeup, makeup too, or just the wig? Just the wig. It was coming. And, makeup and, was coming. And next. I was like, "I was like, take that shit." And they're like, "It's just dress up." Not that is not just dress up. Like, the, dress this tux, nigga, my nigga. Right, dress <laughs> this nigga up like a fucking man. Like, hey, what are you no, guys doing? No, you're absolutely right, though. The makeup was coming because see, yeah, I got I, I, I got daughters and a son, and and they, there's a couple times where I'm like, "Nah, fuck all We're that. Take all that. that shit off. We're not doing that shit." And like, it's like, uh, "Oh, well, that's I, not fun to me." It's like, "Oh, that's that's not fun." All I know is girls. I've never had a boy before. Well, you know. That they don't fucking wear <laughs> wigs. How old do you have to be to fucking know that a boy don't wear wigs? Right. It was looked it? like he was probably like two. And what 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 was the end result? What was the purpose? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know. But I was like, I've never had what? boys before. So what what did you think was gonna happen? You was like, fucking, I don't want boys. Right? No, I don't think she did. <laughs> I don't think she did. I've never had boys before. I don't want one. I don't let's, think, let's make this little boy. Well, no, I, I've right. never had boys. So fuck all boys, and all boys got to be girls now. Uh, like, it was it was it was on that level, I believe. Yeah, it's 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 deeper. I think I think that that's what it is, Mac. Is that we're now seeing the world experience what we went through in high school when those ignorant couple of black people were taking over the whole school and we didn't we did nothing. But yeah. what happens now? Because in this example, like in the high school example, you just get made fun of. In this example, they can get you canceled from your job yeah. if you try to talk. If you well, it's a whole new day me. now. So it's different. So yeah. what do you do? You have to stay quiet now. What? You can't. We can't. That's the same, saying, if you that's do the same say principle, shit, though. If you do say... But this this, this example, you can lose your job. Now, you can lose it's your ability still, to... There, there's they still can't make fun sort of in school. There's still versus, some sort of sacrifice for you speaking up. It's it's the same okay. principle. I mean... What was what was that county that's, that's, that's speaking out against COVID? Uh, it, oh, uh, I was going to play that, actually. It's my, that was my next my topic. Let's do it, then. On the way out. So, let me um let me go in and prep this. I need that, that cable... Because again, this is a whole county that is saying like, "Fuck this! We're not going with, we're not we're not going with the the, the mainstream, right? Whatever everybody else is 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 gonna say and what everybody what the popular opinion is, we're gonna step out with." I think I, I, think, I don't know about that county, but there's another state too. I think Arkansas that banned the whole transgender. Arkansas. Arkansas. You said they banned the whole chance. <laughs> he did what say did say? Um, Arca um, they banned like the the transgender sport thing, like how males that trans that becomes females play in female sports. They say fuck that. Yeah, that should be a definitely fuck no. That should de be a definitely fuck no. But again, this is why I really appreciate Georgia to an extent because Georgia, when we we we. We're on it real quick, like, yeah, fuck these masks. Like, fuck, you know, staying at home. Like, this, is some, this is some bullshit. We're not, we're not going for it. You know what I mean? So, 
So this is the uh, Marathon County Health and Human Services Committee meeting on um, 9-6-23. So this just happened. This is a month or so ago. Um, <clears throat> and, and this is going to tie into our, our new topic. But I don't even know how I want to categorize this because um, I don't know what it means. But I would like for everybody to hear this. It's pretty, pretty interesting information. So uh, are you going to play the one guy that you told just me started at 19? We play, you should play the guy after him, too. Okay. Is he, play, the, do we have enough time for that? It's, yeah. It seemed like pretty long. The one that played, no, he just put the phone up, right? And he, and he just played the thing, and he was talking about how these masks, whether they were the K95, none of these motherfuckers ever worked. Yeah. And they never will. And, yeah. and, there's, and that's a whole fucking scheme anyway. Yeah. So, and, and I think that was like a minute long. Yeah, okay, well, let's play this. Let's, let's just listen. Christopher Wood. They're calling up different people from the audience to, um, to, I guess, put their gripes up or whatever they want to talk about. So this is a guy who's coming up to the mic now named Christopher Wood. And he's got some pretty weird things. Hello, my name is Christopher Wood. Thank you all so much, brothers and sisters, for attending. I really want to thank the county board for continuing to stand up for everybody. It takes a lot of sacrifice of your reputation and possibly livelihood in your day to day to put in the energy and effort to stand up for what's right. So God bless you. I'm going to go through and talk a little bit about things that people may not know. I think a lot of people are well aware that uh, COVID is a scam. Well, you know, the whole practice of it. Everyone understands there's disease, but the fear that they've pushed is to such a great extent to try to control and manipulate us. So I'm going to talk about who's actually behind it because not too many people want to do that. You know, we always talk about Republicans, Democrats, but they're both wings of the same bird, unfortunately. So the... COVID agenda, who was in charge of the CDC that was controlling and telling our government to shut down small businesses and what they recommend for the mandates of the vaccines and Pfizer and all this? Ooh. So at the time when COVID was being enacted, I'm going to read off the staff of who was in charge of this in, uh, CDC. The director of the CDC was Rochelle Walensky, dual citizenship with Israel. She's a Jew. Deputy director of the CDC, Ann Shawalchi, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. CDC Chief of Staff, Sherry Berger, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. CDC Chief Medical Officer, Mitchell Wolf, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. Chris, CDC Director of Chris, the Washington I'm office. Trying to stop it. This, is, this is pertinent to the topic. This We're talking about speech. COVID, right? Freedom of speech. Let yeah, speak. this is this is pertinent to COVID. So I love you, Jennifer. Doesn't make it bad. Let them speak. Yeah, please. So the director of the CDC of the Washington office, Jeff Rezik, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. COVID czar, Jeff Zaints, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. COVID senior advisor, Andy Slavitt, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. Ho uh, assistant of health secretary for this human services for our country, the assistant of health secretary, Rachel Levine, transgender, Burner, dual citizenship speak, with please? Israel, yes. so Jew. I'm gonna ask that you hold off, Christopher. Ma'am, I'm almost done. Mr. Head of Mr. Pfizer. Wood, the, the chair has ruled that your comments are out of order. She's asked you to stop. How is it out of order? Please. The chair How is has. It out of order? He said Jew. There's nothing wrong with Jew. It's not derogatory. Yeah, exactly. Okay, keep on going. Head of Pfizer vaccines, Albert Erla, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. Pfizer chief scientist, Michael Dostin, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. Moderna chief scientist, Tal Zaks, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. BlackRock, everyone know BlackRock? BlackRock CEO, Larry Fink, dual citizenship with Israel, Jew. I said we're willing to sacrifice our ego, our reputation, and our lives. Yes, ma'am, and I love you, and I appreciate your patience. I love that part. BlackRock president, Rob Capital, dual citizenship with Israel Jew. Uh, the CDC Chief Medical Officer of Johnson & Johnson, Joanne Waldstriker, dual citizenship with Israel Jew. Uh, Chief Medical Officer of Merck, Michael Rosenbaum, dual citizenship with Israel Jew. Head Advisor of the World Economic Forum, Yaval Harari, dual citizenship with Israel Jew. And that's only talking about COVID. That's not talking about who's in charge of Christopher, you need to that's stop. Not about who's in control of, of the media or the banks. I can go on. God bless y'all. Thank you for your patience. So, so, I, I do. Oh, the, the, okay. I'm going to play the next yeah. part in a second. I just want to, before we move on, I want to discuss that. So, that is kind of scary because, like, I remember when Kanye and Kyrie was in trouble, too. Right. Like, I don't care what happened in the past because y'all had to become lawyers because of whatever happened. It is kind of weird that they run everything. And he's like he said at the end, we're not even talking about media. Yeah, or, that's what I'm saying. Like, or like banking. We're, we're just talking about just 
COVID and and help. Yeah, because because right. it's, it's like what the fuck? Like y'all y'all just the hardest working group of all time. But look though, what does that, <laughs> I, I, I'm not even sure what it means. That's what's so crazy. The, the, about that's what this. I'm saying too. It, ha- it has to mean something. It's, yeah, it's too that, it's, it's too calculated, calculated it's now. Something. It's, it's too it's, fucking calculated now. Well, I, I'm too scared to even say what I'm thinking. No, say it. It's too. And I, now and, and now, now I'm it, starting to think bad. like what the fuck Hitler was thinking? Because like why did Hitler choose them? Because like like because it's like what's going on? Right. Well, according to those historical reports, he was saying that they were crushing Germany, basically German non non Jewish Germans, because they had control over everything. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I it's it's so odd because I don't know what that video I just played for y'all means, but it doesn't mean nothing. Yes, but it, it can't mean nothing. It's so fucking weird because even like this whole like. With this whole thing going on with Palestine, they starting to lose the the people support. This is still part of my dad. Yeah, don't, don't the worry, people, we're gonna get back. The to The people that. are now saying, "What the fuck gonna, is going on?" Not in we're not in Rome, back. Georgia. Rome, Georgia <laughs> got billboards, a giant billboards talking about support. It's called Israel. Rome, but Georgia, Georgia a, for a but, reason. But that's a billboard. That's and not the people. And it's called right. Rome, Georgia. I bet for if you talk to the people, they wouldn't necessarily all the way agree with that because I do feel like the 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 support is swaying. The support is swaying. And, and even I, and, Jewish people. Yeah, no, yeah. I've seen a lot are, of Jewish are, people. Are, right. are like, even what the fuck? even uh, Orthodox Jewish right. people. Right. Yeah. So um I wanna I wanna don't worry, we're gonna get back to that. But do we need to play the next part, please, Mac? Okay. Please. Let's play the next part for a second here and uh see what Mac a little bit late. I got tired, but come on here with the yield of Caesar. And and I just re- the first guy that they cut off reminded me of the don't tase me bro. Like, yeah. I just I just figured he was just about to get tased. Yeah, and and, and, and then immediately you saw that guy walk across the table. See, that's the thing I was I was pointing y'all. That guy, hold on, let me pause this. That guy walked across the room to come tell that lady, shut this nigga up. Right. Like shut him down now. And that's when like the 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 chair does not respect these thoughts, their these opinions, like opinions. And I like that one lady. She's like, why? why yeah, like wh- why? Why can't he say that just because he's saying that what they are? Right. Yeah. I mean, if you are dual citizenship, then what? You, and and now what? Now okay. So he just brought something forward that we all now have to chew on and digest. And what does it mean? Yeah. I don't know what it means. And, but in the it, time of diversity and inclusion, where's the diversity and inclusion in the board members for all these companies? All the leadership, it seems <laughs> yeah. like. The CEO, yeah, yeah. the deputy director, yeah, the director, like, the They're president, not just all white people. They're like the a specific scientist. group. <laughs> but just think about it. Dual CDC. citizenship, too. That means if they fuck up, they can go another country. CDC, Pfizer, Moderna. Moderna. Johnson and Johnson, yeah. BlackRock, all the motherfuckers that benefited the most from COVID. From COVID. Yeah, right. And then if you try, be gonna look out for your tribe. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. How much further is it? I'm Mac? sorry, but we cannot do that due to the five minute ruling. He wasn't yeah, up there in the five minutes. Public the comment. Five minute we ruling. needed to know five minutes prior to the start of the meeting. All right. So they're not gonna let him talk because he wasn't there James five minutes Edis. before. Yeah. Right. So, so this the this guy you're talking about? Right. Okay, let's see what he says. And sorry, listeners, I didn't have this queued up. He's walking to the front now, so um, at this committee meeting. Um, the Marathon County Health and Human Services Committee meeting. Once again. I would uh, like to thank Jennifer for bringing this resolution forward. And um, for, I don't know if you guys listen to Dan Bongino, but there's something that was relevant that to this meeting, I'll play it for you here real quick. It's about a minute long. Times talked about Cochrane. Put that on the screen. The most rigorous and comprehensive analysis of scientific studies conducted on the efficacy of masks for reducing the spread of respiratory illness, including COVID-19, was published last month. Its conclusions, said Tom Jefferson, the Oxford epidemiologist, who is the lead author, were unambiguous. There is just no evidence that they, masks, make any difference, he told the journalist Mayan Damasi, full stop. But wait, hold on. What about the N95 masks as opposed to the lower quality surgical or cloth masks? Makes no difference. None of it, he said. Well, what about the studies that initially persuaded policymakers to impose mask mandates? They were convinced by non-randomized studies, flawed observational studies. How do we get beyond that finding of that particular review? So, Christine, that was for you. Um, there <laughs> is a lot out there that is, this is all political. That's not okay. This is all political. Okay. This is a great step by Marathon County, this health department, this board to take a stand against what I consider corruption by our government and, and to keep our individual freedoms according to our constitution in place. 
And I hope that everything goes well here, it gets voted for, and gets put towards the county board, and they put this in place. Because we, in this county, right here, right now, can take a stand and say to the rest of the country, we can do it, so can you. Thank you. So what's very interesting, where the fuck is Marathon County? Because they are lit. They are lit. I don't know where this is. They are out there holding it down. That first clip is still like, like it got me, my brain going to a wormhole now. Because that shit is crazy. Nah, but how about this right here, though? Let, let's, let's, again, let's use the facts against, um, let's use the facts to, to speak, create, create speak conversation. For, yeah, no, to speak for us. Because, you know, a lot of times, um, we get lambasted as being, you know, not having all the truth. Because, of course, we don't. We're just idiots. We don't, we don't ha like have this stuff researched out and stuff. But, you know, let's let the facts just speak for us. So, October 30th, Gaza. 3100 uh, October 30th like today what's today October today's 30th. the 30th October 30th <laughs> Gaza Gaza 3195 children killed in 3 weeks surpasses total kills since 2019 uh, the number of children reported killed in Gaza in just 3 weeks has surpassed the annual number of children killed across the world's conflict zone since 2019 Wow. Save the children, said. Since October 7th, more than 3,257 3, children have been reported killed, including at least 3,195 in Gaza. Uh, so you hear that number again. 3,257 have been killed, including the 3,195 of them in Gaza. Uh, 33 in the West Bank and 29 in Israel. So that's the other ones. It's all in the same region. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Ministry, this is according to the Ministries of Health in Gaza and Israel, respectively. The number of children reported killed in just three weeks in Gaza is more than the number killed in armed conflicts globally across more than 20 countries over the course of the whole year for the last three years. Mm. Children make up more than 40% of the 7,703 people killed in Gaza and more than a third of all fatalities across the occupied Palestinian territory. You're saying 7,000 or 700,000? No, seven. Um, 7,700 people have been killed okay, 7, in this conflict. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. With a further of 1,000 children reported missing in Gaza, soon buried under the rubble, the death toll is likely much higher. On Friday, Israeli force, uh, forces announced uh, expanded ground operations in the Gaza Strip with Save the Children warning it will bring more deaths, injuries, and distress while calling for an immediate ceasefire. I don't even need to read anymore. You get the gist. Yeah. The idea here is that I think that Israel is, is losing... Uh, popular support. You can't. No, they are because they got black Jews trying to do commercials for them now. That's when how you, I know. When you fuck <laughs> with the kids, anytime you fuck with the kids, it, right. that's when it changes the people's views. And yeah. then you can see it. So the Emmett Till approach, like you can actually see these kids fucked up, fucked up. Yeah. And and, and and nobody wants to see. It's like kids and puppies. Like you would like <laughs> would like seriously. Like you you see some shit. Ask Mike Vick. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you see this shit or hear about it. It fucks with you at a different level. You go, you know what? That's wrong. I don't give a fuck what you Absolutely. believe. That is wrong. So here's my question, right? Because I know that right now people who are Zionists or who support the Israeli government are, are looking at us like, well, how dare you guys call this out without calling out the things about... Above all that, I'm asking someone from that community, how would you like for us to receive the, the statement from the guy who was at the committee meeting who listed off all the Jewish people who were in charge of every fucking thing, and this report of 3,200 3, kids being killed by Israeli ground strikes in Palestine. How would you like for us to perceive this? How, if, if, if I told you those things and you could give me an explanation that doesn't include how bad Palestine is or doesn't include Hamas. how you guys were done in the right. Holocaust right. or doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It, remove all those things that you're going to blame other people for. How would you like for us to receive this type of information knowing that these many kids have been killed in ground strikes? They're not, we know for a fact 100% of those kids are not militants. So there, there. I mean, you know, maybe there's some women who are fighting, but we know for a fact that some of these younger kids, there's no way they're militant. Now, maybe they, their dad is or their mom is, but they're some of these are little bitty kids. Right, and and it's funny because just the other day I was thinking about this. It was like this is they're that race is the only one that has a special moniker for racism against it, like. Anti-Semitic. Right. So we, we, we have gone through atrocities as, a you know, black Americans that were part of the fucking African slave trade, but we don't have a special 
gender or special type of word that says, listen, if you say anything racist against black people, it's this. It's just racism. And everything else is just racism. Anything else that you deal with, any other nationality that you have a problem with, is just racism. Except for this one, which means it's yeah. something, and it and it carries. It seems like it carries so much more weight than just being racist. It Check does. This. It does. And actually, the definition of anti-Semitic is special too. Right. It's like what? what, what What's the definition? What, I don't, You'd have to look it up specifically, but I know that part of it is that if you say anything about them owning everything, that's considered anti-Semitic. Yeah. Right. So they, they did that because that's what the propaganda was Hitler, used. What Hitler said, yeah. yeah exactly. So um, somebody made a comment. Somebody in, in the comment section, somebody made a, um, a reference to a Voltaire quote, and I wasn't going to say it because I wasn't sure if Voltaire said it, but I just looked it up. He absolutely did. And it's a, it's a poignant um, statement. Um. To learn who rules over you, simply find out who you are not allowed to criticize. Hmm. Yeah. There it is. I and mean, it says here, in, um, fault, it's false. Voltaire didn't say this. I don't care. It doesn't matter if he said it or not. That shit is uh, poignant. Yeah. And, and it's, again, there's no other, they have their special word for racism against them. As opposed <laughs> oh, wow. Listen to this. <laughs> this is how shit will bite you in the ass if you don't read, right? right. So this, this is a, this was a claim and it was claimed false. The quote, which was paraphrased, comes from a 1980, 1993 radio broadcast by Kevin Alfred Storm, Strom, who has been identified as a neo-Nazi by organizations that monitor hate groups. Now, let me, let's look at this. Now, look at this with two lenses. Now, we can take that as being face value, and that is what it is, or we can look at that as, oh, they don't like him saying that shit about us, so we're going to call him a neo-Nazi. Right. I don't know. I want to give you the information, listener, because I don't know which is right, but either could be right. It's, very, it's definitely very possible. We've seen it happen that they could shadow ban him, just like they shadow ban people on Twitter and, and make it seem like he's a neo-Nazi or whatever, and really he's just a, probably a, a conservative dude or whatever, and you just are able to say that because I can't fact check that. So I just want to make sure I put the information out there. It wasn't Voltaire. It was apparently somebody, Kevin Strom, and I don't know what his affiliation is. But nonetheless, the quote is what I'm talking about anyway. And it's and you can just look at the facts again. Like I'm saying, like when there was that that, that whole wave about, uh, you know, anti, um, when 9-11, when everybody was against fucking Islam. Yeah. There wasn't, there. it was just racism. Yeah. If there was, when they was against the Asians, it was just racism. Yeah. If black people don't like, White people, that's just racism. Or according to black people, that can't happen. Yeah, but, but they made the Asian thing a hate crime, which is crazy. Go ahead. But, but all of them are hate crimes now, Yeah, right? but it's an Asian hate crime. There's, right. a, there's another, they put the Asian on the front of it. It's not just hate crime. It's right. a, as many hate crimes as black people had, they actually gave, there's no black hate crime. Right. But there's an Asian hate crime. Right. So again, each, e anytime there's that special, you know, specification yeah. um, for something that everybody else gets standardized, you know, treatment for that's what raises my eyebrow to go why right why the fuck is this special when you know motherfuckers haven't been liking other races for the whole time and it's just racism but this one is some special and again it's very taboo like again like to be a, a racist like so if you're a skinhead and you don't like black people yeah you're just a racist, and it's yeah. not. And no one gives really a two shits about it. You just uh, whatever, and vice versa. If you, against Mexicans or whatever the fuck, the it world doesn't don't stop. It, it don't. It, but if you are anti-Semitic, yeah, we gotta that shut some shit down. Is a problem. And all I'm asking, this is all I'm asking. I don't know what this data we just gave you means. So please, I'm asking for someone to clarify. That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, I want to know yeah. how we're supposed to receive this information yeah. when we hear that all these people are at the top of all the, the decision makers about COVID. I want to know what that, what, how should we receive that information? Because no. before we knew that, we knew what he was already saying. We knew COVID was bullshit. We've called right. this shit out from day one. Yeah. I said the mask. Not day one, but well, day seven. Maybe, okay, day seven, right? Eight, like, I mean, seven so, or eight. It, 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 since we're a year. I was shook. So the, right. First. So again, yeah, but shook. so since the day, since early on, I'll put it that Very way. early, yes. Very early on. We were early adopters. Like, this is some bullshit. It wasn't a month or two. And, and I knew from the rip that these masks were bullshit yeah. because, again, with my limited medical experience, mm. 
I knew that there, this was not these don't not gonna stop. By limited, you mean none? <laughs> <laughs> Tra- what Trapper I, John MD? I, I had enough. <laughs> what did you I, I had Doogie enough. Hauser? I had enough to know that these masks was some bullshit. Oh, it was some bullshit. That, that again, if you don't got these cartridges, because again, yeah. I worked I worked environmental. Of course which, you did. So environmental and medical. Right, right. and environmental, you had to have the cartridges exactly. in order if you wanted to. Now, have I know shit, that. that if you wanted to have shit not getting your lungs. You, in the military, we had those kind of gas masks with, right. the, with the cartridges in them. Yeah. So so and, and then. And certain cartridges are rated certain for you certain know, things. Right, right. Some so, some gases go through that cartridge. Right. You got to get a different cartridge. Exactly. Yeah. It, I, I'm just asking, what do you want? How should we receive that? And then if we go to the next, the next thing I read, a lot of the people in the world are saying that Israel is committing hate, uh, world, uh, war genocide. crimes. Okay. Oh, war crimes. War crime. <laughs> like that are that uh-huh. go against the Geneva Convention. They go against everything, and we're participating they, in this too. Now, United States is participating. Oh, for sure. In this. We've already we bombed some um, uh, Iranian sites. I think. Recently, I mean, during we, this, and if there's a country that disrespect war war rules, is America does or doesn't that does but does who, respect them? No, does disrespect. disrespect. Oh yeah, yeah. So we can't even. Of course, we're involved, yeah. but we, with the shit we do is terrorism. <laughs> yeah, we just don't yeah, call yeah, it terrorism. Yeah, right. yeah. We're a different ball game. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. This shit, cause, cause, my thing is. I don't give a fuck. There's no way one group of people just work that hard to own everything. Yeah, come on. <laughs> like, 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 come on. I just, I just want to <laughs> know how. I want them to tell us how we're supposed make a make a public. It don't have to be directly to us. Make a public message because I guarantee a lot of people feel the way I feel. We just want to know how you think we're supposed to receive this because we're looking at this shit and we're like, this is some fuck shit. Right. Change our minds because I don't want to think this about your people. But shit, like, give me, give me something else. Give me some of the positive shit that y'all are talking about because we're not seeing a lot of that right now. All we're seeing is war crimes or alleged war crimes, potential war crimes, um, alleged Business. monopoly monopolies at the top of all of our major corporations and and the and the decision makers when it comes to our health and safety. Um, we music. need we need evidence. And yeah. and and then if we go back to that one video that we saw where the she was doing interviews in Israel, right? The Back to indoctrination, like there is it with the casualness, and I posted it on our Twitter account. The the casualness, which one that video of the Israeli young girls, people? The oh, girls. but it wasn't just young people, but yeah. mostly young. Yeah, but there were some old people too. The there old, were, pe- the old there people were. were some on some real shit too. You know yeah. what I mean? And again, it's like the, it, it it really you know made me think about religion because that's what they're trying to stand on, right? Like you know, God gave us this land, like so therefore it's ours to kick anybody the fuck out right like it or if they don't fucking go with it or whatever but the the casualness that they were talking about killing other people yes and and like they should all die like this and, 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 and there was no like wavering like you know maybe you know maybe just the hamas people or whatever the people that are committing you know crimes against us no all of these motherfuckers need to die. Like, and, it, and to me, I was just like... I just want to give everybody who's listening the yeah. uh, opportunity to watch this. It's called Everyday Israelis Express Support for Genocide to Abby Martin. That's the video that Mag is talking about. Right. And so if you get an opportunity, take some time, watch that video, and you'll be f- f- flabbergasted. Blown away. Right. You'll just be just, just blown away. like, God damn. Like the, 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 Kill them all. Right. And, and then the way that this is just... And they're talking about Arabs. Kill them all. Right. They're just, and the, the way that they f- are just so casual... And that's cool. We can say that on TV and nobody gets canceled. Nobody comes for you. Kill all Arabs is what you've been brought up on and you're you're convicted in saying it. Right. You're willing to say it to a camera. As a matter of fact, in that particular part, the one girl was trying to shy away from it. She's like, how, yeah. do, you, how do you say this in English? I don't yeah. even know how to say it in English. Yeah. And the other girl, ha, 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 I'm not saying that, la, 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 whatever. But then she figured out how to say it and she fucking said and it. And she said it. And, 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 either and the other the girl old- just laughed. Like, laugh? You're laughing at this. Right. Bruh, I just want to know how we're supposed to receive this stuff. Right. That's what I'm asking for. I'm asking for you to make public statements to let us know everything is okay because right now the shit don't look okay. It does not. It doesn't look okay. There, there are is a lot wrong with the things that, that are coming to light. Yeah, I agree. Uh, listeners, we're a little bit out of time. Is there anything else we need to add, guys? Or No. Nah. Anything at all? Okay, cool. Just uh, follow us on all our socials. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, check out the website, rarestunners.com. Um... French, I appreciate every from now on, every time you don't break something, I'm gonna say I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Good job today. Um Matt, well done. Matt, good job getting real angry with him. Yeah. And you know, showing all that vitriol <laughs> I got more towards of that. him. I got more of that good, for the next good. show. Yeah, we gotta keep that. That's part of that's one of our themes, right? Is you being <laughs> upset with him. Um, Pac, thank you for coming through. No doubt, my pleasure. 
Listeners, we appreciate you guys, obviously, more than anything. And uh, keep supporting us, keep interacting with us, and we'll keep bringing the nonsense because we realize that sometimes people just need to laugh. Till next time. 10% less bullshit than any other podcast. Guaranteed. Guaranteed.